but there we go. And so the second black bar right here, I put it right at the top of the screen so that you'll be able to see it. That's the meal plan right there with the highly beneficial food list. If one of you are trying to lose weight or if one of you are sick, I would suggest you click on the third one. That way you'll get the bundle. And the bundle clock comes with the meal plan, weight loss cheat codes, the um, at-home herbal potion, and everything that you need for your blood type. And so once you get that, then you go to the grocery store, you take that to the grocery store with you and you start to implement those highly beneficial foods into your diet. Why is that? Because your blood and the food that you are eating is creating a chemical reaction called lectins in the body. And it could be leading to inflammation, leaky gut, tear the hole in your digestive system, autoimmune disease, thyroid issues, especially for olds. Olds suffer with the thyroid issues mostly, and they suffer with the peptic ulcers mostly. And so eating right for your blood type will reverse all of that in an old. And it'll get rid of that old fecal matter, all that yeast and stuff that sat on the uh, digestive system of the old and took the digestive enzymes away because they're buried underneath, they're suffocating underneath the breads and, you know, the wheat and dairy that the old shouldn't be fooling with. And so once you get that out of the way, the hydrochloric acid will replenish and the digestive enzymes will be returned, leaving you with increase of microbiome diversity in your gut, giving you more energy. Now you're happier because now the dopamine level has returned, hormones in balance, serotonin level is returned, and you're healthy all over again. We're just reversing the negative lectins in the body by allowing them to eliminate and creating positive effects on the body by eating right for our blood type. But it's a beautiful thing that you know your blood type because a lot of people don't know that there. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that. And so if you are here and you don't know your blood type, that's okay. You would need to head over to Amazon. Amazon.com, everybody should know of that. And you're gonna be ordering the Eldon at home kit. Eldon, E-L-D-O-N, E-L-D-O-N. Somebody type E-L-D-O-N on the, on the, um, in the comments for the people that are wondering what I'm saying here. E-L-D-O-N, Eldon at home kit. The Eldon at home kit is a kit that you can personally purchase online on Amazon. And when you purchase it, you're just in the privacy of your home pricking your finger. You prick your finger. Hello, hello, uh, feminine, <laughs> fair feminine. You prick your finger and you find out by the card that they give you inside the kit what your blood type is because you're gonna prick your finger and put the blood in four circles and your the plasma in your blood is gonna create a certain image like right it's gonna look a certain way and so then you'll be empowered you'll know your blood type and that's very very necessary because your blood is a footprint to your DNA your blood has memory to your lifeline this is like an ancestral line, like, right, when they're saying, honor thy mother and father, so your days will be long, you need to be honoring the bloodline that you stem from. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that, uh, favorite. Honoring the bloodline that you stem from. You're going to honor the bloodline that you stem from in an effort to stay healthy, because there's nothing new underneath the sun. We've done this before. The ancestors did this here already before. So guess what? They, at that time and season, they ate and they weren't sick and they thrived. You know, they were more conscious, right? They didn't have this man-made stuff that we made, fast food type stuff that's causing us sickness and disease and inflammation in our body. Okay? Yes. Okay, tap the screen. Oh, okay, thank you. I did it. Yeah, and it's such a relief to know. Coach Renee did it. Anybody else found out their blood type up in here on, on these screens up in here? Am I on the same thing? What am I doing here? Let me see. Make sure I'm on the same page. I'm on God. It's just be over there. And I'm on. Okay. I thought I was on the same live. I don't think TikTok let me do it, but I kind of got confused because I saw Coach Renee over here and then I saw over here. So I didn't, I got a little confused when I saw you moving over to the other live. Okay. <sighs> heard oh will do thank you okay yeah perfect perfect 
Now you don't, <laughs> you know, it's funny to me and, and, and you know, a lot of people, and I, I get it, you know, certain people at different places just give me the general, just go general with me. Tell me, tell me what I need to do, what kind, you know, what kind of foods, but just like a vegan, y'all, just like a vegan, a vegan be like, oh, oh, I just need to eat fruits and vegetables. I need to take, stay away from the meat. You got to narrow it down to blood type. So for those of you who say that, that those of you olds out there think, oh, I could just eat meat and vegetables and I'm going to be good. It's not all meat. It's not all seafoods. It's not all vegetables. You can still get out there and get inflamed. This is why we have uh, uh, people that are vegans that are still wearing glasses. They got vegans with, that have their anemic. They got vegans with irritable bowel syndrome, vegan, you know, that have thyroid issues because they want to wild out and they want to eat all of the fruits, all of the vegetables. You cannot do that based upon your coding, your genetic coding in your blood already. You have to stick to the highly beneficial ones to get rid of all of the toxins and all of the inflammation that you obtain from eating the non-beneficial ones. So for those of you that are olds that are listening underneath the sound of my voice, there are going to be two types of olds. There are going to be the olds that's going to go general and they're going to be like, oh, she said to just eat, eat meat and vegetables. I could do that and just kind of stay away from certain, certain fruit. I could do that. But you still need the meal plan to know which ones. Don't, 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 don't be your hard head needing to steal a soft ass and then circle back. Well, you ain't tell me that. Well, I told you, you should have got your meal plan so you could find out your highly beneficial ones you fall in love some of the highly beneficial ones on the list some some of you probably never even had it before <laughs> some of you probably never even you passed that up you just passed up don't sit there and be like he saw it and sell your birthright old because you're god in physical form you're the first people first mankind <laughs> the anunnaki god to walk the face of the earth with the richest less tainted blood don't be like Esau in the biblical text now I tell you your birthright for a pot of stew sell your birthright because you you still fooling around with the wrong type of food and ain't cleaning up your body <laughs> ain't tapping into your god self ain't, ain't 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 powerful ain't lean and physically fit with strength and endurance like you're supposed to be ain't ain't the meat hunter you ain't working out because you, you have the most hydrochloric acid. You can break down your food and you are active beings. Don't sit up there walking up in a room and everybody know your greatness. You walking up in a room. Everybody know your greatness because they feel it energetically because of the blood that flows in your body. But you your stomach hurt. It's almost aching to, you know, you know how everybody know about Jesus. Like when Jesus was to come and Jesus come down your, your so-called, if you believe in that thing, come down in the so-called um, stairs, the pearly gates, Jesus coming. And Jesus come walk down three steps and be like, <coughs> I got COVID back up. You know, it's like, what? That's how it is when it is old sitting up here having thyroid issues because they ain't eating for their blood type. That's how it is to me when I hear of an old, you know, with leaky gut, with an old with a peptic ulcer, old with a high blood pressure. That's the God. What, what you doing, tick God? Get your mind right. <laughs> Manipulate the energy. Use your resources in the matrix to get your power back to, so you can put on the whole armor of God. Yeah. Instead of being sick with this ease and this harmony. Happy Friday, Quinetta. Hey, hey, Gonzalez. Thank you for being here. Hey, beautiful. Hey, uh, God said, man, I see you. You're a beautiful woman. Hey, bless uh, Stone. Thank you for being here. I appreciate that. Thank y'all. Let me scroll back up. Did I miss some comments? Yeah. So, um, you right for your blood type. Let's see. Okay. Yes. Sorry. No, no, you don't have to be sorry. I'm not sure what you're sorry about. First time. Oh, okay. That was, you're sorry about the typo. All right. Let's see. Anybody have any questions out here? I did it. It's such a relief to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I get the meal plan? The meal plan is linked in the bio, sort of the earth pub.org. In a bio. Oh, okay, y'all helping each other out. That's thing. Yes, yes, yes. No, 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 not today. We we had a coupon code um, from a birthday, but not today. It's just regular price today. 
that's over with. Let's see. Purchase the uh, red bill baking soda for water, kelp. Oh, okay. Oh, you got everything going on over there. Yeah, you see vegetables, and see vegetables is highly beneficial for all blood types. All blood types. See vegetables are highly beneficial for every blood type. So you go to the website. This is how you purchase for the person that I answer. Let me ask that question. Here's your answer. This is my website, saltoftheearthpub.org. Saltoftheearthpub.org. And it looks like this here when you get to the main screen. And so if you're purchasing just a, bu um, just a bundle, it's going to be this third bar right here. This third black bar right here is going to take you to the bundle. Inside of the bundle, you'll get the meal plan, the avoid list, the at-home at herbal portion if you're sick. This is downloadable, instantly download, a seven-day meal plan that includes breakfast, lunch, dinner, herbal teas, juices, your nuts, your seeds, your shake seasoning, your condiments, your oils, uh, meat, seafood, everything for your blood type that's highly beneficial. And so I put together a meal plan based upon that. So everything in that meal plan is going to be highly beneficial. Seven day meal plan, Sunday through Saturday. You also get in the food to avoid there. So that you uh, just a reminder, hey, stay away from this because it's going to cause you inflammation. You're going to get a weight loss cheat code just in case you're overweight, want to lose a couple of pounds. That cheat code is going to be all your highly beneficial foods that also help to create um, your, your digestive enzymes again or replenish them help to increase your microbiome diversity and foods that's going to help you lose weight at the same time drawing back in your skin the stretchy skin the saggy skin if you have any shrinking your stomach back to its natural size if it has, has been enlarged because of the yeast and different things that we sometimes do an over abundance of and they're going to be highly beneficial. So that way, if you ever do, if you're not, you know, heavy, if you ever do one day just fall short and you gain weight or whatever, you have a weight loss cheat code specifically for your blood type. So in that at-home herbal potion, that's in case you're sick. If you're obese or sick, you have an at-home herbal potion that will help to detox your liver, your kidneys, It'll be all the ingredients for your highly beneficial food on your highly beneficial food list that you put together to create a concoction like your personal antibiotic just for you. Lubricating the liver, like say for example, bees. Bees suffer with a liver issue the most. So for a bee, that at home herbal portion when they digest it. It'll lubricate their liver and they'll, the gallbladder duct will begin to release them gallstones up in there. Lubrication of the kidney where those acids sit so that they can now, the adrenal glands will be open to expel mucus, acids like uric acid, lactic acid build up via the kidneys and they'll urinate that out. See, the, 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 the way that the body gets to this dis-ease place is first the gut is tore up by the foods that we're eating that are not beneficial. But then the lymphatic get a, system gets so clogged up or backed up because we're not eating the beneficial foods. And so the lymphatic system is the backup for the blood. And so if the lymph is back up, now we have high blood pressure. Now we have tumors and cysts that ain't being expelled because actually to heal yourself, you, you don't need to put something inside of your booty hole. You don't need to cut open your body and go in and pull that tumor out. You need to heal yourself the way that you caused this ease to yourself. You caused it by putting it in here for it to be up in here. So you go in here with the right highly beneficial foods that's going to break that thing down so it can be expelled. If we were designed to be having people or doctors or whatever go inside of us, we would have zippers, you know? We would have zippers, you know, to be opening us up to take things up. We don't have no zipper. Our skin and our body ain't, 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 ain't functioning properly like that. Where we <laughs> have a zipper where somebody could go in and, oh, let me just take this here trash. 
Because oftentimes when you go in to take this here trash, aka you try to pull out a tumor or something, it'll be getting to spread. Because your body, which is infinite intelligence, it knows how to protect you by putting or hiding the trash in a little patch around some fat deposits to save your life. Waiting for the day that you give it by putting the right thing in here, the thing that it needs to dissolve that tumor, to dissolve that cyst, to get rid of that mucus before it hardens and causes you further dis-ease and disharmony. Your body is really working properly. But the thing is, we don't, some of us won't, won't give it the things that it needs to fully function and detox you. And so you become full of crap. You become full of waste. And everywhere in your body, you will have a waste pack. And you will have a fibroid here. You have a tumor here. You have a pouch of parasites and pathogens right here. You will have all kinds of things. You have a little lump right here. You have, And it's just letting you know you put too much of non-beneficial things in your body. It's time to clean house. That's here, dear. Infinite intelligence. Yes, it is. It is infinite intelligence. <laughs> hey, Nisha. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the rose. I appreciate you. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Thank you so much. I bought all the meal plan and the weight. Oh, you got the bundle then. Go ahead on. She gives life and that more abundantly too. Welcome to, to the abundant stage of life. Welcome to that part of uh, the, the, the journey. She gives life. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me turn my thing on over here. Let me turn my thing on over here. That, that's my hand clap to you for taking care of your body. She gives life and not more abundantly. Hey, Tammy. Good day. Yes, purchase the Bob's Red Mail Bacon Soda too. Look at y'all. Brenda got her Bob's Red Mail. I'm so proud of y'all. I'm so happy for y'all. It's such a blessing. Oh, positive and no apple cider vinegar. I use that for appetite suppressant. <laughs> I hear you, babe. You don't mix well with your hydrochloric acid that you have up in here. Just order the bundle. Look at you, princess. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to you. You got to come. I normally come here about 10 or 11 a.m. It's 11.20 right now in mountain time. I'm in Arizona. So I normally come around this time you know to talk to people to answer questions and stuff so come back you know let us know your progress ask questions you know that's what i'm here for um did you say you can take a spoon yeah if you get hungry doing a fast yeah your highly beneficial oil that's on your meal plan would be great too i i personally uh did coconut oil because i'm not a meat eater so Coconut oil has um, saturated fats, is why I'm telling you that. And so if you're A or AB, I would say no. I would say use another oil. But I'm a um, B, and I understand how it works. So that's why I use the coconut oil. Because of the amino acids that coconut oil has, and because of the saturated fats, being that I don't normally, especially on the fast, I don't eat any, I wasn't eating any food or meat on the um, phase. I wasn't chewing anything. But yeah, it, when, you, when you get that major bottomless pit of a fast, <laughs> I mean of a hunger while you're on a fast, then coconut oil make that go away. You'll be gone. Because your body, you know, during a fast, is kind of like looking for, you know, the fats. It's looking for something to break up and you just, it's kind of like, really eating at itself cleaning you at its cellular level so you feel empty you feel that void and so that was like day 39 of 38 day 38 of my 90 day phase when i started to feel the bottomless pit feeling and and i almost and i don't even fool with burgers like that i almost went to a drive through and was like look just give me the biggest super macky burgery thing you got <laughs> that's how hungry i was but yeah, hey 66, thank you for being here. Hey Melanie, thank y'all for being here. Happy Friday, everybody. I don't know why, but instead of singing this, thank God it's Friday, uh, I um, I was thinking about a little nursery rhyme when I woke up. That's the funniest thing. Yeah, it's okay to use uh, rose jelly internally if you're A, or just externally on my face and X. I'll stop eating meat for you, sweetheart. <laughs> 
<laughs> you gonna stop for me? How about you stop being in me for you, babe? Yeah, that's funny. Um, yeah, you can take it internally and externally if that's what you choose to. It's really, really high in, in B, so you can't go wrong with that. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Hello, I got my kid for blog type. Once find out, then what do I do? Oh, you got your kid is what you're saying? And then, so once you get the kit, then you go to the website, sorrytheearthpub.org, and you get your meal plan. You could get the bundle or you're just your meal plan itself, right? And that's going to be at the top of the screen on the website. So the regular meal plan is the second um, bar, but if you're getting the bundle, that's if you want to lose weight. That's a, a weight loss um, um, cheat sheet that's included in there. And uh seven day meal plan the at her home herbal potion all of that is included in the third black bar but in the second one it's just going to be the meal plan so you click on the second one and when you get your uh blood when you get your blood work done and you know your blood type you're going to be looking at this here image right here and so at the very bottom you have to choose an option you got to choose an option and your option will be whatever your blood type is You'll be choosing your blood type. So I don't know. I'll just like hit one. Let's say your blood type uh, B. Your blood type B. You put blood type B in the in the option on the screen, and then you'll be able to go to cart, check out, and make sure you put your correct email address because this is downloadable. It's gonna be instantly sent to you via email, and so you check your email, then you open it up. Now you're empowered. Now you begin to grocery shop and buy and eat those certain highly beneficial foods that's on that meal plan. And so you'll begin to expel a bunch of ways. Your, your stool will be more bulky. And you know, people people email me and tell me all kind of stuff. Not that I want you to or anybody that hear me to tell me nothing about what's coming out of you. But what I will tell you is that you'll begin to see evidence of your bowel, you know, bulk in your stool, you know, different things coming out in your stool that was probably taking all of your life force, your nutrients and all, right? Your urine should become a little bit more yellow or a little bit more cloudy with sediments in it. That's letting you know that now your bowel is coming, your parasites coming out of you via your bowel, via your urine is yellow and having sediments because now your kidneys are filtering more and getting rid of those acids. The kidneys is like, hooked to the lymphatic system which is the black up, back up for your blood so that means your blood is being cleansed and purged and so your body is healing not only that just by eating these foods some people report and i remember this when this happened to me like a warmth in the stomach that's that's akin to your, your the transforming of the um environment in the gut that's akin to the increase of the microbiome diversity akin to um digestive enzymes in a peak in hydrochloric acid returning for you, you know, instead of being put out by maybe an old hot sausage sandwich that's molded up in the air or yeast um, overgrowth from beer and bread or maybe something that tore your digestive system up like bees, for example, they can't consume certain oils. Certain oils will tear up a bee's blood type B digestive system. So when you begin to eat the, and use the highly beneficial oils and drink those juices that increase your digestive enzymes, all of that inflammation is going to subside. The ulcers are going to heal because the body is infinite intelligence. Actually, every three days, you know, just like our hair shed, just like our skin shed, you know, what do you think lint is in the, in the, in the, in the, um, in the wall uh dryer it's a it's it's from the clothes but it's also from the shedding of the dead skin that was on our body too you know what do you think dust is in the house that's our skin shedding you know when you brush your hair in the morning you shedding skin everything turns over so the stomach every three days you should be getting a different lining a new lining starts to grow in the inside of you it's shedding in the inside of you so if you carry around a sickness and disease that you've been carrying for Yes, you ain't did nothing different. 
That means when you all shed, it's shedding and it's still, it's still not healing when it sheds. You still never put the inflammation out. So that means you're doing something every day to cause inflammation for it not to be shedding and becoming renewed and refreshed like a sore, like a wound that ain't healing in the inside. That's because you're constantly putting things in there that's constantly keeping you in an inflammatory state and you keep on getting inflamed if you keep on getting inflamed you keep on getting um the integrity of your gut gonna keep on getting worse and you can say girl i girl i can't live without my god that's well so shall it be but what about my liquor though well if it's if it's depleting you of all of your magnesium and, and dehydrating your body and you need meat magnesium in every organ in your body how is it serving you you know, how is it really serving you? So it's time in life to take control of life and grab life by its horn and go for the things that's serving you. The meal plan is everything that will serve you. You know, you can't see with your two eyes what's going on inside of here with your gut. But if a lot of us could see what we're doing, I mean, we'll feel it. We'll feel that pain. Sometimes we'll even feel like something ain't right and still won't eat for our blood type. But if we could really see, like really see with two eyes, what's going on in, in there, in, in the integrity of our gut, when we eat certain foods, the integrity of our liver, when we drink that liquor, we would stop. When we consume white sugar, <laughs> not only is it addictive but it's tearing you up in the inside but it's making you feel good because it's like being on drugs a little crack you know it makes you feel good while you tear yourself up and so then you'll come to me you'll tell me oh well i'm here for a good time not a long time well okay so shall it be because at the end of the day my true passion is getting you to wake up to your higher self i really don't i don't want to sit here as if i'm monitoring what you put in your mouth that's your avatar itself that's you having to deal with how you feel i came forward to teach you how to eat right for your blood type do highly beneficial things to your body because i'm helping you with your self-concept i'm helping you feel worthy again i'm helping you emit a new signal spiritually because i'm more here for the spiritual side than the physical side because i understand that it's 99.999 percent of all that there is I'm helping you wake up to your God-given power because once you begin to eat right for your blood type, this is aching to love for self. Mm -hmm. This is aching to send out a signal that I am worthy and I, I deserve the best thing. This is aching to increase in your faith. Greater than a seed of um, a grain of uh, mustard seed, increasing your faith, manipulating energy, learning how to focus. <laughs> focus on you finally. Cause you done been focused on all things outside of you god but it's time to bring that harness that energy and bring it back into you can you focus on you now can you focus on the things that make, make you feel you've always been there for other people but what about your time your season to roam what about you getting back on the throne of god because all of this is akin to that spiritual um that that the biblical text that says if i be lifted up i'll draw all things to me right so if you lift yourself up if you begin to love yourself all over again you treat yourself like you deserve the best to put inside of yourself that's akin to you being back on your throne again and now you're able to manifest now you're able to focus because you won't have no critters up in your gut no more knowing that you your first brain is clear so since your first brain which your brain is here is clear now you have mental clarity now this one here is clear you see what I'm saying? Because it's all tied together. It's all connected. I and the Father are one. I'm trying to connect you back to yourself. I'm bringing you home back to you. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Linus, hey, how you doing today? Hey, how you doing? Let me check these um, comments right quick. Hey, hey, Lord, please don't tell her what's coming out of you. <laughs> Yeah, don't tell me no more because I done got pictures and everything. I don't need to know what's coming out. Just be thankful. Yeah, be thankful that it's coming out, y'all. Just let that stuff go. Just let it go. Just flush the toilet. <laughs> flush the toilet and let it go. You don't have to send me evidence. I know it worked. I don't need, I don't need your evidence. I believe you. I, I surely believe you. <laughs> Okay, um, sorry for the background. No, no, no problem, babe. I just got the bundle. Good for you, use a 5074. Bless your heart, babe. I'm so happy for you. 
Um, I blood. I bought two blood type bundles. So the potion part will that be milled or is that within the bundle? It's in the bundle on page three. It has red writing next to it on that avoid list. That's on page three. And on it has red writing next to it and it says start here if you're sick. So that's the herbal potion, the at home potion that I'm talking about. That's going to consist of your highly beneficial oil. That's going to consist of all of your um, highly beneficial um, herbs and spices that you put together, mix it together with your oil and everything else that comes in your concoction. That's going to be a concoction. Let me show you. I think I got one in the refrigerator of mine. And I don't take mine every day because I ain't sick. Oh, Lord, my foot went to sleep. <laughs> my foot went to sleep right quick. Let me see. Ugh. I have one, and so I make mine. Wait, my, my foot numb, y'all. <laughs> I was sitting funny. <sighs> All right, maybe I shouldn't cross my leg like that because ain't no blood circulating right there. Because anyway, so this is one. This is mine for a B, a B uh, blood type that I put together. I put mine in little containers like this here. That way, you know, while I'm making it, I make it like about ten. 10 you know maybe for the week or whatever or however long it's gonna take me to finish those 10 that way i gotta make it each time <laughs> Ooh, my foot tingling <laughs> Ooh. but um yeah yeah this is mine and so you put it together with your highly beneficial oil and your um herbs and you consume it you consume it and so it's gonna lubricate that liver and the kidneys and your large and small intestines too is going to help you start going to the bathroom to the point where you ain't got to um you ain't got to be grabbing onto the shower curtain just to you know have a bowel movement you know it's going to help you out it's going to help you it's going to get rid of and so the beautiful thing about the at home potion is that it has your highly beneficial oil included up in there and so your highly beneficial oil Gonna work uh, toward parasites too because parasites have a lipid coating around them they protect themselves so they could um get in the nook of your digestive system somewhere to suck out your nutrients right and so they put a shield a lipid coating around themselves to protect themselves so that you know you you don't kill them all right and so this is why the doctor will tell you oh it's a virus and we're gonna have to let it run its course that's far from what you need to be letting it do because while it's running its course it's multiplying it's laying eggs kind of like gnats in the kitchen it's laying eggs you know producing other of its like kind getting greater and so this this lipid coating this sac gets greater and greater full of the um toxins and because it's take it's taken it's growing as you eat certain foods that it's attracted to it grows you know because they get more mold up in there it grows from stripping you of your magnesium and your iodine. This is why we, we, we be magnesium deficient. This is why cancer patients walking around low in magnesium, you know, because these parasites try to become the host. They become so ascetic. They, 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 they missing out on minerals. And how could you be missing out on minerals if you're getting magnesium in your food? You're getting it. Something is robbing you of it. And doctors don't tell you this is a part of the journey because if you if you start to detox and you start to do a real detox at a cellular level you'll be healed and you don't need to go up in there but just you know for a little once a year i guess for your annual executive wellness get your blood work done and you're good and you didn't have to go back so all of their trips and everything else be over with you know, they have they'll really be having trouble paying the medical um student loans back because you ain't up in there getting you know they don't have nobody as a lab rat no more giving nobody different drugs to and if you think about it you go to the doctor you get these high blood medications you got to be on for the rest of your life like that ain't healing you that ain't healing you this heals you <laughs> and when you get your meal plan and you begin to eat like this for the rest of your life you ain't got to come back to me you sore <laughs> I'm empowering you to, to heal yourself and then you get in a better position since you saved yourself you go and save your family after that you have a quality of life you get off of this level of sickness and don't visit this level of sickness no more get to know yourself 
Because getting to know yourself is getting to know God. All right? So, let's see. Yeah, it's working. And I've only been doing it for two weeks. That's what I'm talking about, Nisa. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that, babe. You teach me something every day and I love it. Yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> teaching you something about yourself. That's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. Beautiful place to be in life, too, for me. I, I appreciate you sharing, me, sharing that with me. Let's see what else is on here. Your screen frozen. Uh, Brenda, you back? Brenda, did it, are you working now? Because other people talking to me. Maybe it's you. It's something on your end, your internet or something like that. Okay, thanks. You're so welcome. You're so welcome, Wendy. Any more questions? Any questions today? Any topics that y'all want to talk about? I put up there my um, cash app if anybody wanted to talk. I had multiple questions. This is about the people that have multiple questions of a certain person. Maybe that's sick of mindfulness of chakra questions. Um, um, so you can send a donation to the cash app and I can call you if you don't want to be on, you know, your face on here and I can call you and people will only hear your voice and you could ask the questions and we and the people here on the live can hear you speak. If you choose to do that, my cash app Myron's World is on the screen. If you choose to do that, when I receive the um, donation, um, I will see your telephone number. So when you give the donation, make sure that your telephone number is in the um, little comment section and I'll call you and we'll, we'll talk live if y'all want to do that today. I just felt like doing something different and I got that idea. I saw somebody doing that yesterday on TikTok and I was like, oh, that's a great idea. Because I don't really, I don't really, if you notice, let people, just random people just come in on the live because I be thinking that they just want to play that game. Y'all know that little battle game thing? I, I, I've never seen these people and then they want to come in on the live, but they got this little battle thing. I'm not here to battle game. I'm not, I don't want to play the game. And then if I get them up there, I don't know how to get them out of there because I ain't never put nobody in there. <laughs> and so... So I don't know about all that. <laughs> yes, indeed. You back? Oh, okay. Now you back over here. Yeah, I'm going to order the tea on your website. I can't um, find the international market near me. Did you Google? Did you Google international market near me? That's what I did when I came out here in, um, in Arizona. When I came out here in Arizona, um... That's what I did to find a little age market that I um that I frequent down here. And they be they don't normally be right there. They don't normally be right there by um by your house. You you be having to get up and go. Cause I know mine ain't even right there. So that's why that's why when I need to go, I make sure that I write a whole list so I don't forget nothing behind because it's not close to the house. But it's a beautiful um a beautiful place to even frequent just to just to see how it's set up man they be having everything up in here i mean everything exotic fruits that you probably ain't never seen in your local walmart you know your local rouses trader joe's and stuff like that man them international markets amazing people they they got all kind of exotic things and they know they know about eating right for their blood type if you pay attention to them you know, they are there like, like where the A's are kind of like sourced from. It's kind of like that bloodline where they eat, you know, the soy. They eat the soy and, um, you know, seafoods. They don't really fool with all of that meat that they be selling in their little restaurants. They don't fool with that stuff. They don't fool with it. But um, anyway, let's see. I was thinking about talking talking about one of the uh, blood types today I don't know who I got up in here though yep I'm trying wait that glare that glare from that light in my eyes like yep I'm in my lift now headed to my vehicle taking y'all with me oh <laughs> yeah you about to go get stuff for your list huh yeah oh and you're in the country tier tier oh yeah yeah so when you go you got to learn how to, if you do find one and you're in the country, you got to learn how to um, save it, you know, by maybe putting it in the freezer or, you know, maybe juicing it or, you know, 
cooking in whatever you're buying and, you know, saving some for later. You know, you got to learn how to store is what I'm saying. Learning how to use the, the mason jars and stuff to preserve whatever you can that way. You got to learn how to manipulate the energy of it when you do get it because being in the country and having to travel to, to it, you got to really want that thing. I remember when I was in New Orleans, I had to travel. I was on, I lived on the outskirts of New Orleans, but I had to travel miles just to get <laughs> to a whole food store. Because I, I, when I would go to shop, I would go to the international market, to the whole food store and to Trader Joe's. The whole food store would always have one or two things that I needed, but I learned through my journey that I'm not going to be spending all my money in the whole food store because I was ending up giving the whole food store my whole darn paycheck. So I was like, nah, negative. And that's when I stopped. That's why I would go to Trader Joe's too, you know? Because Trader Joe's was the least expensive, but um, Whole Foods store in the international market, they had like the exotic things that Trader Joe's didn't, just didn't have. They didn't have it in stock. No way they're gonna get it in stock. Oh yeah, I'm trying to leave wine alone completely. Oh yeah? Um, If you think, I was telling somebody today, if you think about the benefits of it, how is it serving you? You gotta list it. This is how I do things, how I do things when I'm trying to leave it alone. Well, how, when I was trying to leave stuff alone. So I would think about how is it benefited me? I would think about how I feel after I consume that thing. And then as I educated, because knowledge applied knowledge is power and then after i educated myself about that thing then it was easy for me to let it leave it alone for example milk milk now i'm a blood type b i could have actually dairy i could have milk i could digest it and it ain't gonna hurt me unless i overindulge in it right but the thing about it my body my gut was compromised so milk was hurting me because my gut at that time wasn't in balance either. So milk would make me feel, <laughs> would make me feel so bloated and I would be bubbling all in the insides. And, and then I constantly was in the bathroom, whatever, like, right? Milk produced extra mucus. So on my chest, my, my chest would feel some kind of way after I ate my cereal, or whatever, and then mixing it with cereal, that wasn't nothing but a bunch of sugar. You know, <laughs> no minerals there. High fructose corn syrup included in that it wasn't even real, man-made. So I begin to say, like, no, I'm not. I'm not drinking no pop cow pus. I would think, cause you know, if there's good, if you, you think it to be delicious, if there's good, there's gonna be some bad. So I, it's a, it's a moment where you have to focus on the not so good parts of it, the other side of that polarity in an effort to fix your mind to help you to stay away from it. And I was manipulating the energy that way. And so I would think, well, what if I had the milk from the cow that had some kind of sickness and I'm drinking his cow pus? No, nah, I ain't fooling with no cow pus today. No, nah, I don't want no cow pus. I don't want no cow pus. I would constantly think that. And every time I would say that, because it's even in ice cream, you know, and nah, I don't want no cow pus with no Oreo chunks in it. Because the Oreo chunks got high fructose corn syrup in there too. Nope, I don't want that today. And I would talk to myself like that in an effort to stop me from craving that. Because in my mind, I don't want to crave no cow pus. Like, you know what I mean? No cow pus. So, that's how I stop. That's how I stop with the milk. And to this day, you know, I could consume milk, but to this day, <laughs> I don't like it. And that's fine with me because I don't want to be milked out. I don't want to consume a lot of milk because milk led to a lot of mucus in my body because I, I didn't know how to, at that time, stop. Milk led to my fluid, fluid feel, um, them, them bumps in my face. And I, I didn't like that. That wasn't cute, you know? So liquor, out wine, liquor, you think about, wait a minute, as soon as I consume wine, liquor, you know, it depletes me of all of my magnesium. It's like an astringent that's taking my magnesium. I need my magnesium. Magnesium is needed in every organ in my body. Why would I want to do that to myself? 
is why. If I'm on a health journey, I'm trying to eat highly beneficial foods and I'm going to zap myself, then it's going to dehydrate me. Dehydrate me so much to my brain. Then that's why I wake up and have to drink some water. What, what is it doing for me? Or oh, it just tastes good or it just give me a feel good? Well, I could find something else to replace that. That feel good. I could go to these herbal teas that gotta just be have on her meal plan. Because these herbal teas, these are like Buddhist monk teas, yeah. They make you feel, feel real good. They're going to open up my mind. They're going to give me magnesium. They're going to make me... <laughs> they're going to restore me. They're going to relax me. They're going to make me really feel good. Yeah. They're going to help me uh, with my bowel movement. I ain't going to dehydrate me. Yeah, I'll go to them teas instead. Them teas that's on that list. That's what I'll do. Then I'll sweeten it with some agave. Now it's going to taste good. Now it's working for me. It's giving me something back because the liquor took from me and left me with a whole bunch of, if it was beer, it left me with yeast when it dehydrated me because it ain't nothing, beer ain't nothing but liquid um, wheat. So you think about it. You educate yourself based upon your knowing of it. So yeah, I'm going to do what the Buddhist monks doing because surely they doing something. You ever seen the Buddhist monks that come on and they, they'll tell you something, a little quote, this 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 is me thinking and it's okay to to manipulate your thoughts people don't need to know what you're thinking so they'll come on and be like buddha love you and so do i they be so happy and in my mind this is what my thoughts now in my mind i'll be like yeah he just had him some of that herbal tea that buddhist monk tea i know what that tea all about he excited either he had some or he about to go get him some talking about buddha love you and so do i let me go get my tea <laughs> Cause they be happy, happy, like right. So, so even the Buddhist monks, they drink these herbal teas that really, really feel good. And you talk about wine, you gotta get take, taste them teas. You, you figure out what I'm talking about. That's on your list. Them teas, don't sleep on them teas, the herbal teas, cause they really, really make you feel good at a cellular level, and they relax your body to so the state of being where you're like, everything's perfect. You're calm. Everything's perfect. You enjoy the birds of the air. You enjoy nature. You know? Something that I think maybe that your wine might be, you think your wine is doing for you, but it's doing temporarily for you. Yeah. I need that tea. <laughs> it's on the food list. If you have the uh, weight loss uh, cheat code, it's, it's um, the teas that's on the weight loss cheat code. It's under beverages and teas. Beverages and teas. Beverages and teas. What is slippery elm for? What are y'all talking about over here? I'm coming. I'm coming over here. I love your accent. Oh, thank you. Let's see. Yes, I'm in the country. Okay. Um, I read that one. I'm about type B. I've been using olive oil for salad dressing. Can I substitute um, MTC oil? Um, I think you would stick with what is on your um, highly beneficial list because that that that. <sighs> Saucy, that 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 leads me to ask you more more questions. That's that because I gotta know more about you to tell you yes or not. If you wanna um, ask more questions and come on a on the phone, you can do a donation on Cash App and we can go into more details. But that's just not a one question. If you really wanted that, I could say just yes, no about. But just generally speaking, no, because it depends on so many other layers. I love your accent. Oh, thank you, babe. I appreciate you. Um, I need that tea where it's, oh yeah, I told you it's on a um, weight loss cheat code. Um, when I drink alcohol, I break out in cups. When I drink alcohol, I break out in cups. You, what you mean? Handcuffs? You get crazy, is what you saying? What you, what you saying over there, lazy? <laughs> Do you mix your teas? Yes, I love your accent. Oh, thank you. My blood type says I'm Castro. It's not good for me. Mm, yeah, well, hmm, maybe you need to stop doing that. <laughs> Putting that, that in your hair. Oh, we got an A up in here? We got an A up in here? Because your skin is an organ. What you put on you penetrates inside of you. That's why I say that about the cast oil. Now, let me see what's going on over here. Somebody asked something about slippery. Let me go back up. Um, can O's drink slippery elm um, powder in water um slippery elm powder is is neutral slippery elm powder is a, is, is something that uses it's like, kind of like his name slippery <laughs> making you know you go to the bathroom 
Superior powder will be neutral. It's nothing negative about it that they have to stay away from. But you have, you have um, the fruits that you, are on your list, on your highly beneficial list. Those are way better than slippery elm. The powder. Yeah. Yeah. Janice, why is that? You, you gonna start looking for me, Janice? Janice won't know my, my blood type. You won't know, you won't, you gonna start, would, you know how to cook Janice? Huh? Are you trying to see if I'm like you? Why is that? Tell me why, and then I'll tell you. Because <laughs> if you cook it, I'm going to have to watch you to make sure you're cooking it right, all the way down to the oils. Because I like to cook my own stuff. I don't like no shortcuts. I like to know that I know that I know, Janice. I'm old. I take some brown powder and capsules. So I'm sure it's fine. Not sure how it tastes in water. Oh, Karen answered you. That's a great idea. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you, Supreme Elm has no taste in water. Yeah. So that's what it's for. It, it kind of like um, helps to go to the bathroom. But you have, you have on your, um, your fruit. Your fruit. Because I have oils over here. Your fruit will have everything, the ones that you can consume. Because that, you think about it. So for you, oh, we're talking about oils over here. Just in case y'all don't know the comment. I, I'm live on two pages, just to let y'all know. So there's an old person over here that's talking about slippery elm, which is not really highly beneficial for their blood type, but <laughs> they have um, they have on their meal plan highly beneficial fruit that's way better than slippery elm. Way better than slippery elm. <laughs> way better than slippery elm. But you can do slippery elm if you like it, but your fruit. So think about this here. Remember I told you all O's? You have the highest amount of hydrochloric acid in your digestive system when you're at your peak, when you're healthy, right? So if you're eating for your blood type, you, your acid is coming, it's replenishing. So the only fruits that are really beneficial for you are the ones that ain't like acidic fruit, fruit type. They, they like, for example, apple cider vinegar, that, that ain't beneficial for you because you normally create this hydrochloric acid. So the fruit that are beneficial for you, <laughs> what, they, what those are, they're, they're helping you with digestive enzymes. Those, the ones that are beneficial, that are on your list, trust and believe they're going to help you go to the bathroom. Because you are physically fit and lean just naturally. When you're in your natural state of being, you're muscular, you're physically fit, you're while not at the gym. You like physical activity, that's in your bloodline. So your fruit that are highly beneficial, they make you go to the bathroom. You, you don't need no slippery elm to be honest with you. Slippery elm, I've had that in my day and I'm, I'm not that particular blood, blood type. I've given that to the olds in my, in, my, in, my, um, in my house though. They benefited way more from the fruits that's on that highly beneficial food list. I've been doing this for over 10 years. And if I consume the fruits, I'm not even that, that, that sharing that bloodline, but if I consume the fruits that I give to them olds, I'm done for about two or three days because everything coming out of me. <laughs> I'm just letting you know, just so you know, you ain't sleeping on the real thing running behind Slippery Elm that's neutral when when your fruits are highly beneficial. Yeah. Superome is for blood oil. It helps with digestion. Yeah. Yeah. Your fruits help with digestion. And they leave beneficial bacteria in your gut. The beneficial bacteria needs to be there. You know how they talk about the good bacteria outweighing the bad bacteria? Your beneficial bacteria is in your highly beneficial um, fruits. That's on that list. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, chrome. Oh, okay, I see. It's kind of okay to put on the body for old. Hmm. Somebody else was just asking about this cast all thing. Yes, sis. Um, yes. Yes. Hey, sis. Yes. Who's that? That's somebody I know. So, yeah. So, I mean, 
you could you you give you could go for it if that's what you choose, but it's not it's not giving you any benefit. I wouldn't fool with it if I were you. But everybody different in a different place in their journey, you know, some people want to do, you know, just what they used to doing. But I wouldn't, I don't fool with it no more. I don't fool with it no more. I mean, it's good for, um, they say rather, it's good for circulation. But if your blood is causing inflammation when it comes in contact with it, then all of the circulation of the world is just going to be lead to inflammation in the body. So if your skin is the largest organ on your body and you're putting the castor oil on your body, it's penetrating in your body. So what goes on you penetrates inside of you. So these, 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 these if you, if you pay attention to old school uh, movies, they'll be showing the people getting out the tub or whatever out the shower, you know, and they'll be rubbing themselves with, with highly beneficial oils, like ab, ab, um, like olive oils, delicate oils. They don't be they don't they don't be doing that castor oil stuff. You know, another thing y'all need to pay attention to is the fact that when the masses get their hanging on on the idea of something, it blows up and everybody think, oh, let's do that. It, yeah, because this this is causing this to happen. I see this benefit, but you know those benefits be short lived. You know, like, like kind of like the sea moss thing. When the masses got a hold to sea moss, now this has, they have a whole bunch of fake sea moss that they, they, they grow in little swimming pools, like, right? And they put an artificial salt on it, right? <laughs> so it, it's really no different with, with, with the castor oil idea. So all of a sudden, castor oil started to be really, really beneficial for circulation. I understand the little packs, you know, if it's temporary, then you need to put it on maybe your um, your liver in conjunction with something else just to get the stagnation moving. Yeah, I can see that. But put it on every day, no. And so when the initial castor oil idea came up, up then they started, then the masses got an idea like, oh, there's Jamaican black castor oil. And then everybody was sort of put castor oil, they make hair products, started of putting castor oil. Oh, castor oil make your hair grow. But that, that don't mean everybody is going to be benefiting from that. You got to always drill down these, these, these um, weight loss schemes and these hair growth schemes down to what applies to your bloodline. Because we are different. We have different lines that we stem from. We're all part of God. We're all energy, frequency, and vibration, but we're vibrating on different frequencies. And sometimes they ain't talking to you, but you're doing what the other frequencies are doing. And it ain't bringing you to your best self. Like for those, like for example, you know, some people that's on different frequency, you can't tell them nothing about their, their eggs. You can't tell them nothing about their milk. No matter, no matter what blood type they are. You can't tell them nothing about that. But everybody different. <sighs> yeah, no, I'm sending um, a cash app. Okay, I sent my cash app. Oh, you got questions you trying to come up in here to talk? Let me see. Let me see. Eleven eleven. Tristan Davis. Let's see. This is gonna be my first time doing it. Give me a minute. Let me see if I can see the number. Where the number at? Lip where the number at. I don't see no um number on here. Tristan. I don't see no number. I don't see no number, Tristan. Did you put it in there? Did you put it in there? The number you needed me to call you. If you wanted more, if you have more questions, <laughs> if you if you have more questions, I could call you and we could discuss more questions. Oh, if you just give it a donation, thank you. I appreciate you. But if um, if you had questions, that was why I put the cash app up there for people that had more detailed questions, and we can talk while 
others can listen to what we're talking about, the advice that I'm giving to you, and then I'll still stay on the line. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, thank you, babe, I appreciate you. If you think of something, just let me know. Just let me know. You can email me your number to call if you want to. My um, email is sorbyearthpub at gmail.com. And you can email me that telephone number if you have some more questions and I could ha we can hear your voice on here. But I appreciate the donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, anybody else? Anybody else with more questions? I don't know why my little thing be going on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Tristan. That was the hand clap was for you. What else are we talking about today, y'all? What else? Who we have? Who we have out there? Who we have out there? We have A's, B's, A B's. Everybody should know this being so. <laughs> thank you. We have a we have O's out here. What we got? Tia Tia is a B. We got B's. Any more bees? Oh, oh, ladybug up in here. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, they got A's up in here today. No, maybe A's don't be here. Yo, oh, look, look at them. Look at the A's. They woke up. Okay, y'all come out on Fridays, huh, A's? <laughs> y'all come out on Friday. Bless y'all heart. Bless y'all heart. And, and, and one of them A's up in here. One of them ABs up in here. <laughs> yes, see. I was just making sure nobody did a donation right quick before I begin. So if anybody, if anybody, y'all let me know. Um, it's being so let me know if somebody is saying about the donation, because I'm gonna get started talking about the A's today. We talked about the B um the O's for like two days in a row, but I wanna end this week. I want to end this week with talking about or to the A's because I haven't really talked about them in a while and I'm happy that they're here. They are actually opposite of the uh, O's. So everything that I'm pretty much saying, the O's, if you stay here, you this is your opposite. This is the opposite of how you function. Um, can you put um, alchemist oil in, in your tea, in your hot tea? Yeah, but you still, whatever you do with the alchemist oil, you want to put a carrier oil with it, your highly beneficial carrier oil. Because the alchemist oil, you drink in your tea, and it get on your lip, and it's going to burn. So you want to dilute the, carry, the um, alchemist oil with a carrier oil that's highly beneficial for your blood type. And then now you put it together in the top of your tea, and you drink it warm, and that, that's a really great idea because the alchemist oil and your highly beneficial oil mixed with your tea and that's what i do when i have my hot teas put my oil up in it it lubricates the um the liver like right and help you if you have any sluggishness any toxins anything trapped in that gallbladder duct right there and that's really something that the bees should really consider doing because the bees more than any other blood type deals with um you know issues with the liver toxins over here you're so welcome you're so welcome okay so we're about to talk about the a's the a's if you're new to my page i am goddess just b i help people on their journey in the areas of mind body and soul we've been talking about eating for your blood type here yeah? the reason why we're doing it is because your blood and the foods that you eat create a chemical reaction called lectins these lectins lead to inflammatory responses autoimmune responses sickness and disease because of what we're putting in our body. There's life and death in the power of the tongue, your spoken word, and in the things that you put and touch your tongue to bring to be in your body. <laughs> There's two ways. There's the physical and the spiritual side of looking at things. Together, you're either creating your own dis-ease and disharmony, or you're creating your heaven on earth with health and wellness. And today, we're going to talk about the um, blood type A. And so if you don't know your blood type, you go to amazon.com, E-L-D-O-N, and order your at-home kit to empower yourself to get to know yourself because that's really what your journey is all about. Getting to know yourself, learning how to manipulate energy, being a master manifester, and having a good old time when you realize that you got. Okay? 
So as far as the A blood type is concerned, the A blood type is opposite of an O. It's opposite of an O in that its makeup is directly different. O's have the most hydrochloric acid in their body to break down their food. A's have le the least amount of hydrochloric acid in their gut. So, o so A's, they carry a lot of mucus, right? They actually produce mucus in their sleep, you know, in the middle of the night. Whether they ain't good or not, A's gonna be producing some mucus. So these are the type of people that get up in the morning and they are probably hawking up just, you know, first thing in the morning because of the simple fact that that's how their body, you know, processes things. They don't have the hydrochloric acid to break down meat. So if they got up in the morning and yesterday they had um, a bloody steak, God forbid, they ain't doing that. They um, had a bloody steak. They went to sleep. That steak was trying to be digested with little to no hydrochloric acid. <laughs> That steak set up in that gut. That steak made them have a horrible night's sleep, first of all. Then their body, which everybody's body go into detox mode when they're sleeping. Their body tried to go into detox mode and started replenishing or producing its own mucus. Because the egg produces mucus in its sleep. So now we got that bloody steak mucus mold in it half of it not being digested because there's no hydrochloric acid then we got the mucus of them naturally secreting mucus on their own while they sleep so this is why that when they break wake up they have they feel heavy they feel stuffed you know they have to do different things to expel mucus out of them all the time not only did that bloody steak produce mucus but when they ate it their blood got thicker so they'll be de dealing with high blood pressure type issues diabetes type issues a's are the types that end up like with things like stomach cancer can everybody see me oh you back oh okay thank goodness may all you experience a wonderful okay okay you too you too brenda thank you for being here and so A's may experience like stomach cancer type issues. A's may experience a plethora of disease and disharmony because of their inability to break down that animal fat, right? A's have um, a poor time with uh, saturated fats. That question that I had earlier about that person, if they were um, they wanted saturated fats, if they were A, that's why I told them, if they were A, this question is a little bit more because they can't do that. No, you got to stick to the beneficial oils for your blood type. If you're, um, if you're a certain blood type, especially if you're A, because other oils, saturated fats be too plentiful. And so the fats is hard for you to even break down, right? Where we at? Oh my goodness. It's offering time. We got 3,000 likes on Goddesses B. We got 4,000. Let's get to 5,000 likes, y'all. All of these questions that I've answered for y'all, come on now. It's more blessed to give than it is to receive. It's offering time. I'm going to drink me some water. I just noticed that. It's offering time. Tap the screen. Tap the screen. It's offering time. <laughs> Be happy that you can give by tapping the screen. That's how you give back. You tap the screen and give back to your appreciation. <laughs> You got to appreciate people when they do things for you or they help you in your life, babe. I'm teaching you how to create an even flow of energy. It's more blessed to give than it is to receive. You know this. Y'all have been to church before. Let me give me some water. Y'all have been to church before. Offering time. Offering time. For the building fund. Yeah. But this time. This time we building gods. We making a god. <laughs> building fun I'll finish talking when I drink my water and I get to 5,000 likes the building fun is you you tapping into your God self it's you 5,000 we have 4.8 over there oh y'all got to buy fast y'all like wait hold up I need this here let me test this screen alright let me give me some water because I've been doing consultations and stuff and running my mouth all morning and my throat my throat is like, hey, 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 girl. Thank y'all. It's offering time. Thank you so much. 
Thank you for giving back to me as I give to you. All right, I'm manipulating my water right quick. Start to have some alkalizing water. I'm coming. Okay, the birds out there fighting. I gave them some new, some new food. They fighting over that food, boy. Look, they like highly beneficial stuff too. I bought my birds some organic millet and some black sunflower uh, seeds and stuff outside. They're getting highly beneficial stuff out there. <laughs> I'll be making sure. I'll be making sure everybody got, got highly beneficial stuff. All right, let me drink my water and then I'm coming. I'm coming. of what blood type you are that you're out of alignment it's how you feel after you you know eat that you, you really have to pay attention to that so if you begin to experience weight gain immediate weight gain that you cannot lose fatigue that increases through the course of a day you know if you feel like something just isn't right in your gut you know that lets you know if you um have seasonal allergies joint pain and aches and stiffness and thyroid issues, ear to bowel syndrome, high blood pressure. Um, even when you get bruises easy on your body, that'd be your body trying to rob Peter to pay Paul. You ain't got no magnesium or calcium. Oh, we gonna take it out your skeletal system. We'll take it out your bones. We'll take it out. We'll take it from over here. Your body be trying to rob Peter to pay Paul to save your life. So back at the A's, the A's that have inefficient animal protein ability or to break it down, they'll have a poor metabolism because of the saturated fats, the wrong type of fats. That's aching to them pretty much kind of like eating a steak, you know? Because uh, they you already fighting over the inability to get mucus, uh, dissolve mucus in your body, right? You have adrenaline hormonal stress imbalance. You have a tendency um, to have high or thick thick tacky blood because when you eat meat your blood you, it's like your vessels are swelling up and you'll have bacterial overgrowth because your food you don't have any hydrochloric acid in your gut to break down your food so the um the chief factor in the development of the digestive um enzymes in the in the uh, blood type a is going to be that you're going to be moving from meats to soy based protein and if you're a black person and you come up and this, this culture shock thing hits you, I, I encourage you to leave them people food alone and, and realize that you're not part of the us of the soul food community. You're part of the us as it pertains to like more or less like an Asian type diet. You know how the Asians eat soy products. You know, the Asians, they, they eat a lot of different fish and stuff. Well, you need to go on over there and embrace your bloodline that is similar to that type of diet. Because meat don't serve you. They're going to continue to inflame your body because your ancestors before you were of a different culture. So just to let you know, we be killing ourselves with the fork. So... When you eat red meat, you're going to feel sluggish. You're going to feel less energized than when you eat plant-based protein because actually, A's, you're the vegetarians of the world. You're the vegans of the world. And your vegetarian lifestyle and vegan lifestyle should be that of organic, raw as possible fruits and vegetables. You thrive off of things like that. That's when you're feeling your best. That's when you're getting rid of that overproduction of mucus in your body, right? yeah oh okay thank you thank you thank you so so that's important for you to know your sea vegetables are very important too because the sea vegetables are beneficial for all blood types and they're going to help you expel toxins out your body for example iodine iodine um, is needed in every organ in the body um magnesium magnesium helps every organ as well as iodine too because they both are needed to help the body detox and being that you have a lot of mucus production 
you need those too. So this is why sea vegetables is very important in all blood types. This is also why um, salt is, 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 is needed in all blood types too. Your proper sea salts and your proper sea um, vegetables help you with mucus and it help you to detox your body. I don't see anything up in here. So true. I feel so much better after not eating meat. Right. Right. Because you're not a meat eater. You're not like an O. An O is a hearty meat eater. Hey, Blissful. I don't see any, um, any, um, oh, an uh, email. An uh, email. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, I was looking at the cage yet. So yeah, that is very important for you. It's very important for you to, to know that when you get your meal plan, you need to stick to them fruits and vegetables and the seafood because you don't have not one highly beneficial um, meat on your list. Not one is highly beneficial because you don't break down meat properly. Let's see. So let's see. Is this a pan Oh. oh. <laughs> Wait one second. Let me dial this number. Let me dial this number for this person that gave a donation, y'all, and then I'll get back to this here to see what she's saying here. This is my first time doing this, so I really want to. I'm eager to see how this here thing works. Anyway, come on, come on. Let's see. Bear with me, guys. All right, here we go. Let's dial a number. Come on. All right. Here we go. Is it on speaker? Hello. Hi, my speech is Tristan. You on speaker right now? You still on the live? Okay. Okay, go ahead. What was your question, babe? I'm sorry about that. No problem. I um mainly just wanted. I didn't have any direct questions. I just wanted to patronize your service that you're offering with um like meal plans and the teas you were talking about. Okay. I got mixed up and thought I had to send um a payment to get that information. So. If I owe you more money, just let me know what it's for. No problem. Oh, no, no, no. We were doing, we were doing, um, wait, there's a, there's a, um, echo. We were doing on the live donations. If you wanted to come on the live. Okay. Can you hear me better now without the feedback? Yeah. You had me on speaker. Yeah, you had me on speaker. You took me off of the speaker, right? No, I, my um, laptop was playing. So it, oh. It oh, okay. But no, the the no, donation, on the donation was uh, for to come on the phone and ask several questions. If you had anything in the areas of mind, body, and soul, I'm sorry for the confusion. But if you oh no 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 that was my fault no 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 you it's, it's it's fine no I actually just wanted to patronize because I'm a, I'm familiar with Eat Right for Your Type and yes. I wanted to get the list and any other products that you were selling so um yeah you can just direct me in that so and I'll just go ahead and do the order or just do the order through you okay so the website is in my bio saltoftheearthpub.org. And so okay. if you're trying to get the weight loss sheet code, the at-home potion and the void list and the meal plan, that would be the bundle. So when you go to the website, you'll be looking at the third black ball on the main screen. It says the blood okay. type meal plan bundle. So, yeah, it's perfect. so it's all together inclusive yeah. there. 
So that's downloadable. You'll instantly have the cheat codes and everything that you need. Outside of the bundle though, I do offer like sustained detox, the alchemist and the alchemist oil to help in conjunction to those things on the meal plan, but it's not necessary to start in the beginning no, actually it. i'm looking forward for all of that it, i found your live it was exactly something i had already been putting out into the universe that i was looking for so this is actually perfect okay so well that'll be the first black bar which is the sustained detox bundle okay. and the third black Got bar it. if you're trying to get everything right when you get to the home screen those are your two right there you have everything that you need to start your journey babe okay perfect all right, thank you so very much. I appreciate uh, it. Keep in touch. I come live on TikTok from 10 to roughly about 12 or 1 mountain time. I'd be like 10 or 11-ish sometimes. And if you have questions or anything, I like to make it a community where you could come back and ask your questions and because I want to help people along the way too. So after you purchase, you know, don't okay. be done with me now. Stay in touch. <laughs> thank you. I absolutely will. Thank you so much. Thank you, baby. Take care. Be blessed. Money. Thank you. Take care. All Be right. blessed. Thank you. All right. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that was my first call. Y'all, y'all heard me talking. <laughs> I'm getting excited over the little things. All right. Hey, hey, um, Big T. Yeah, thank you. Thank y'all for joining. Thank y'all. I'm an A. You an A? Perfect. So we talking to you right now. We talking about you and your bloodline, your people. I'm very um, happy and honored to connect with you live. I am so grateful and humbled to see, hear, and experience you. Oh, thank you. Tia, Tia, you wait, hold on, hold, hold the heck on here. Let me give me a hand clap. That was my first call, boy, boy. You got to remember those things, boy, when I get on here and I'm talking to different people and stuff. I'll be like, oh, I remember my first call. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to have to remember her name and everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, are you on O's? No, I'm on, um, I'm on, um, thank you for letting me know, um, Miss B is O. No, I'm on A's. I'm not on O's right now. I'm on A's, the opposite of O's. So, so with the A's, you're going to be pretty much eating a whole lot of fruits, whole lot of vegetables. And so the trick of the trade would be, to get you some beneficial, uh, some really, really different sauces that you could put on it and go into your meats, your seafoods. Finding out on your meal plan, your highly beneficial seafoods, because there ain't gonna be no pork no more for you. Pork, you, if you was consuming it, and I hope you know now that it's, a, it's part of the reason why you're experiencing this ease and disharmony. So for you, you're gonna be like a seafood lover, you need your highly beneficial oils definitely to lubricate your um, that mold and yeast that grows in your gut and that, that mucus to soften it so you'll be able to expel it. You're going to definitely need your sea vegetables. Sea vegetables like iodine are really, really helpful in that it's going to detox you. You definitely need your salt, your proper salt like Celtic sea salt because your Celtic sea salt actually like shrinks that mucus inside of you, right? And help you dissolve these things you need minerals actually salt is the is the go-to thing for um any blood type to create hydrochloric acid so you you definitely need to be manipulating your water like i was just doing now how i show you on god is just be healthy manipulate your water with the proper salt and sodium bicarbonates because you need to break down that fungus that yeast that candida you know that and you need that salt in your water to help you to get as much hydrochloric acid in your gut to help you break that stuff down and so just in case you're a beginner and don't know nothing about health and wellness let's pretend this here is your lining of your stomach and your blood type a this is the lining of your stomach the lining of this stomach here is com composed of um tissues that's made up of sodium bicarbonate why do we have sodium bicarbonates in here? Because sodium bicarbonates make the lining of the stomach more alkaline. It, it's like a buffer because normally in other blood types, they have a high amount of hydrochloric acid, right? And you get your hydrochloric acid. This is the acid that breaks down people's food up in their stomach. You, uh, A, we're talking about the A. Somebody type A in the comments for the people that's passion true. 
you as an A, y'all type A in the comment, A. You as a blood type A, you have the least amount of hydrochloric acid up in here. But just because you have the least amount don't mean you go just stay there. You're just going to let it be like that. You're going to be trying to replenish this here hydrochloric acid in your gut. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Thank you. I appreciate you all. You're going to be trying to up replenish this hydrochloric acid by eating the proper salts that help you do that. Your gray Celtic salt is the salt of choice to help you do that. Because you don't want this little bit that you have, the flat line, and now you don't have nothing at all helping you to break up no thing inside of your gut. You're also are going to have inside of your water the sodium bicarbonate because the buffer of the lining of your gut is made of sodium bicarbonate. So this is why I teach how to manipulate your water with sodium bicarbonate and gray salt and sea salt. And so you manipulate your drinking spring water with that. Now you have some hydrochloric acid to help you break down things. And now you have an integrity in your lining. See, oftentimes we'll eat the wrong things and the integrity of the lining of the gut will become inflamed and thin and compromised. And so if it keeps on getting inflamed and stuff, then we'll get holes in the gut. We'll get leaky gut. We'll get inflammation, we'll get ulcers, we'll get stomach cancer. And, and that's pretty much when this here acid that was supposed to be up in here ain't no more. And now we got a cheeseburger sitting up in here. And the cheeseburger been sitting up in here for months, right? For years, right? And now it's growing because other stuff going down there. And now, now inside the gut, we got a whole bunch of mold. We got a whole bunch of fungus. And you know we got parasites up in there. And so this causes the A's to end up with the so-called cancer state of being in their gut. Y'all hear me? Y'all mighty quiet up in there. <laughs> Let me check these comments. Let's see. I'm an A and my whole family is B and O's. I was made to eat meat as a child. My God, blood. See what I mean? And so this is why it's beneficial for you to know your blood type and the blood type of everybody underneath you because I've dealt with and it's so help, a heartfelt to me a little girl who was struggling with stomach cancer and she'd had so many different surgeries. Meanwhile, her parents are old and while they're not on meat. This is why it's so important to know thyself. This is why it's so important. And as a mother or father, if we have mothers or fathers up in here, you need to know your blood type for the people in your family, especially if you're cooking. Is anybody a, a mother or father up in here? Anybody have children? That's This is really important because I, as a mother, would feel some kind of way if my child was an old and I didn't have knowledge yourself to know that. And I'm telling my child, you better eat all of your food. You better eat all of that meat off of that plate or you ain't going to be able to go outside. Now the child sitting up there thinking about last time it ate. Last time it ate your meat, its stomach hurt. But so now the child has to put, choose between going outside with a stomach that aches her because she had to eat the meat when she was an A blood type and she shouldn't have been eating meat, but mama only make meat and mama gets mad at her. The child has to choose between going outside with a stomach ache, tearing up the gut, or staying inside and not being able to play with her friends because mama said so. This is why knowledge itself is so important. Good point. Yeah. Critical. Yeah. Yes, I'm an A and I have um, struggled with disease. Not, not, but I'm getting better. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Perfect. Perfect. Cheese has so many chemicals that most of it ain't cheese. For real. You're absolutely right. See that what I mean? So we have A's here. Um, in transition for two months. Weighed down 27 pounds. Energy is growing. Thank you. Okay. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate y'all being here. Um, yeah. So this really matters. Had to be removed at 20. Yes. See that? This matters. We have a bunch of A's up here. Y'all know this to be true because y'all, but I'm more old. Yeah, we ain't talking about O's right now, Big T. You the opposite of this. You have the most hydrochloric acid in your gut. I'm an O. I should see with my boys all. Definitely. That's what you sure should do. I know the mother's love run real deep. You should go on. You should get that out in that home kit. I, I, pre I remember and told mine, but it had been years since I, you know, be, you know, because they're older, they're young men. But when they came around me during the peak of, you know, me, you know, starting this year off, I'm like, look, come here. 
Let me prick your finger. I know I told you you was this here blood type, but we about to see. Make sure it didn't change, you know? <laughs> so I pricked them fingers, and I was like, look, put, put that right there, you know? Let's see. And you need to see, so because you need to know. Because you need to know this in case anything ever happens, you know, to you. You know, if you need, you know, blood from other people, or if something happened to me, and you didn't empower yourself. Because, you know, boys, they don't they only care. They level of passion behind health and wellness ain't where I'm at. And so I just want to teach them how to eat for their blood type, you know, as their mother. So, so that they, if anything happens to me in their physical reality, that they'll know how to fend for themselves and eat according to their bloodline and escape sickness and disease. That's meaning for me, meaningful to me. And so I feel like as a mother, if I leave you, you know, my children money, that's cool and all, but we got rich people that's out here sick. If I leave my children money, but I leave them nothing for the larger part of them, nothing for their health and wellness, I've left them no thing. You know? Oh, yeah, you, you was gonna just be son? Yeah, but but he's sick now and don't know how to escape it. But he, 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 he can't practice mentalism. He don't know that he God in physical reality. Then I, I ain't do nothing for my boys if I didn't do that. So empower your family, y'all. Once you begin to heal yourself and get knowledge of yourself, you need to circle around and save your family. Because we go through things in life to be in a position to best help our reflections. And our family, especially our children, they're something that we created. We gave life to that thing. We manifested that thing. So make sure that things that you're manifesting to is well too. Just because you are old, don't mean that your children gonna be old too. Cause I'm, um, I'm a living witness of that. A lot of my supporters are living witnesses of that. They'll be having an egg trinkle in there because you got to remember, you can create. You can create through. You can create through um, through manifesting anything. Like, just as long as you have, as long as you have that carbon, you know, dark energy, it can create all. It can create albino. <laughs> it can create everything. It all stems from that so-called darkness. So keep that in mind. You can create an A and you don't want your creation to be experiencing dis-ease and disharmony. So let's continue. Real talk. Hey Daphne, I didn't know you was up here. I'm on this one now. <laughs> you done moved around. You done moved around. Oh yeah, I know. There you go. Okay, yeah. I know you know. I'm like, I am. Okay. So let's see. Let me look at these comments over here. That's awesome. Okay. Oh, I've had vertigo probably from leaky gut. Yeah, yeah, the, you know, I had vertigo before in my past. I healed myself from that. And during that time, my gut was so compromised with a whole bunch of two-piece spicy white mashed potatoes and jalapeno pepper from Popeyes because my, I don't know what kind of oil that Popeyes use, but my bloodline is very sensitive to certain oils. Oils will destroy my digestive tract. Not to mention my bloodline, I can't have no chicken. Chicken will inflame me because there's a hormone inside of the chicken that will cause instant inflammation. Though I'm from New Orleans and Popeye's tastes good to me, it wasn't good for me. And so yeah, I had vertigo. I had it so bad that I would have to pull over on the side of the road while driving. It'll just hit me and I'm spinning like on the Great New Orleans Bridge. I'll just be spinning and then you know I'm driving a car so I had to pull over and wait for me to stop spinning meanwhile they got cars coming 65 miles an hour I'm on the car I mean it's on the side of the road there ain't nothing wrong with the car something wrong with me I'm dizzy you see what I'm saying so we got to get you know we got to get our gut together because our gut and our brain is comprom is connected and so vertigo spinning I'm spinning I'm dizzy but meanwhile my gut is out of balance this is this this answers the people that have that parkinson disease issue them them seizure issues them that alzheimer's issue the cognitive inability to think and reason losing their memory all of this starts in the gut all of it starts in the gut lupus autoimmune diseases the gout high blood pressure diabetes if they take care of the integrity of the gut then where 70 to 80 percent of the immune system lies then the rest of the body will heal too yeah 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 yes i'm an a 
and I've struggled with disease, but I'm getting better. Oh, okay, I read that one. Okay, you're absolutely right. Type A, type A. Okay, I read those. I'm an O, and I started eating for my blood type since late February, and I feel so much better. Oh, that's so beautiful, babe. That's so beautiful. <laughs> so true. Yes. Okay, O. Um, diet. <laughs> diet. The real uh, Jade Bird diet, diabetes. That's my advice. Diabetes has the word diet in there. It's, it's right there. That, that's the advice. That's the suggestion. Change that diet and you won't have the diabetes. Can um, they bounce back to normal? Yes. Lost 50 pounds. Look at this. Yeah. Look at this. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Lost 50 pounds over there. It's about diet. Diabetes has everything to do with diet. It has everything to do with what you put it inside of your mouth. So you need the meal plan. You need highly beneficial. You don't already explore sickness and diseases. You don't already explore the foods that ain't working for you, that ain't giving back to you. That's just like, just like being in an old relationship. Those shitty, dusty relationships that ain't serving you, leave them men alone. It's the same concept with the food. Leave that food alone, it ain't serving you. It ain't giving you the magnesium you need. It ain't giving you the life force and the mental clarity that you need. It ain't highly beneficial for you in giving you digestive enzymes and increasing your microbiome diversity and, and giving you your hydrochloric acid that you need. And so when you fall in love now, you fall in love with the things that's giving you what you need too. You love how they taste and they're giving you something back. It's like a 50-50 relationship instead of this little 80, 20, or better yet, this little 10, uh, 10 90. <laughs> but it's a choice though. Yeah, I like to say don't diet, live it. Yes. Don't diet, live it. Oh, I like that. Don't diet, live it. Yeah. Where do you plan? Where's the meal plan for B? It's right there at the same place where the meal plan is for everybody. Salt of the Earth Hub dot O R G. That's my website. Salt of the Earth Pub dot org, and I'm gonna show you how to get there. You click on the link in my bio, the picture of me at the top of the screen, and when you click on that, that's gonna be the top of the at the top of it. You'll see my bio. My website that I just called out is in my bio. My bio. This is what a bio for the new TikTokers that don't know look like. This is one of my main bios. In it, you see my website, saltoftheearthpub.org, and you just press that button there, and it'll automatically bring you to the correct website without you having to put it in your search engine. When you get there, the meal plan is the second black ball right there. That's if you just want the meal plan. But if you want everything, the bundle, that includes a herbal, uh, at-home herbal potion, the seven-day meal plan, the list of highly beneficial, and um, foods to avoid, the weight loss cheat codes that were foods that are snatch your skin back, snatch your st stomach back, increase your diversity in your gut because they are highly beneficial for your blood type, not because I'm just telling you, oh, this might work. No, it creates a chemical reaction that will work for your blood type. Then you'll click on this third ball right here. That's for the bundle. And so when you click on the third bar right here for the bundle, you'll get an image like this here, my logo. But you're going to be putting in the option or the blood type that is yours. So it's going to say choose, choose which um, option, and you're going to put in a B. So you'll be putting in blood type B bundle kit. You see it right there? Blood type B bundle kit. That's what you're going to be putting in your card. So I'm going to press blood type B bundle kit. And there you go. Now you got everything you need. Blood type B bundle kit. And then you be, proceed to trying to check out. And when you check out, you make sure that you put the right email address because this is downloadable. You put the right email address. Now you have your fruits, your veggies, your nuts, your seeds, your condiments, your oils, your meat, your seafood your beans, your legumes, your grains, your dairy. You have everything for your blood type though. For yours, for the bees. If you're a parent and you wanna do for 
for the family that's an option that's available you see how i clicked on the the um blood type for b well i'm going to expand it look at that at the bottom it says all blood types you see the option at the bottom that say all blood types that's the one that you would press if you want to get the bundle for all blood types so that means if you have more than one person in the family with different blood types you'll get the bundle for all blood types now you know the list of everybody now as a parent you cooking because i cook sometimes for a b and so when i cook for a b that's the day that i'm gonna probably make some kidney beans and some soybeans and this herbs that's in the kidney beans ain't gonna be the same herb that's in the soybean but i'm making two pots of different beans because one is for a, a, a b and one is for the other blood types and then i'm gonna put in the a b one they're gonna have lighter seasonings they're not gonna have the peppers you know they they're not gonna they're not gonna be able to get the too too much of the peppers too much of the spices because of the delicate digestive system right and so you manipulate your food like that for your family and then you get a common thing that everybody that can consume for well, like if it's, if i was cooking for a a and maybe a b or o then the common thing would be probably like the salad that everybody can partake of because the things in there based upon the list i found the highly beneficial thing for everybody list and I put it together and I made a salad of it. And I could give them their individual spices or herbs or whatever, you know, that aren't, that the people that aren't, I'm, that I'm not cooking for to be, you know, the people that aren't an AB or whatever, I could give them their spices or whatever on the side for their salad or for, for the other um, meat of choice. I could put it on the side because then, because the AB or that B, the A, B, I'm sorry, or the A can't consume certain meats. So then when I make the meat, I don't put the meat inside of maybe the beans or whatever. I put it on the side because maybe the O's going to get more to be. It's just like you, it's going to become law for you and you're going to know. You're going to know and you don't want to exclude anybody out. But at the same time, as the parent that's cooking, you don't want to be causing inflammation to your children either. You don't want to be saying, get it how you live because they're going to be suffering. And you're going to have to be the one bringing them to the hospital, wondering what it is you got to do or what you could do better. This is what you could do better. Find out what their blood type is and have your family eat right for the blood type so everybody can stay out of the hospital. You're going to pay somebody. Either you're going to be paying the doctor for them surgeries, for that medication, for, for that high deductible that you got to get. Or you're going to pay this farmer's market or these the Asian market for these herbs and, and foods and spices for the healing of the nation. But you're going to pay. You're going to pay. And it, it depends upon how big you want your bill to be. Because surgeries and ambulances and, and, and insurance is really, really expensive. But you could, you could, you, people talk about, and this is a lie from the pit of hell. People talk about how expensive it is to be a vegan or how to eat clean. No, it is not. No, it is not. And I'm talking about the blood type A, you the lucky one, because guess what? You don't have to buy the expensive meat because you can't have it highly beneficial for your blood type anyway. That meat is expensive. <laughs> your fruits and vegetables and stuff, the only thing about you is you probably have to learn how to preserve. If you don't learn how to preserve, you'll be back and forth in the grocery store more probably twice a week until you learn how to grow your own garden. But you went and you could, you could grow a garden out there and you would have your food in the backyard. While other people fight it and trying to find the, the highly beneficial meats and stuff for you. When you go to the grocery store, maybe you can pick up seafood only. <laughs> You're blessed. I, I feel like every blood type has a uniqueness about them. And it's, I feel like it's a blessing because I don't eat that much meat, if any. And I feel like it's a blessing as an A to be on a cleaner lifestyle because of the fact that you got to still got to clean this here meat. You got to still watch out and try to still get this organic if you're going to get meat because they got gas meat out there. So for a blood type A, they don't even have food with that. You go to the major markets, they ain't playing around with no, no the seafood like that. So you good. <laughs> you good. They ain't playing around with the seafood like 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 they do in the, in the regular grocery store. You get your seafood, you get your... You get your fruits and vegetables from them. They ain't playing around with it like they doing in, in, in trust and believe. That, that's, that them herbs and spices be so rich up in them Asian markets. 
because they're bringing stuff from other countries, from from their hometown to take care of the people out here so they can make up, make money out here, make millions. If you pay attention, when you go to these international markets, the whole whole strip mall be, be theirs. They own the, the land, the whole strip mall. They got the they own nail shop next door. They got their market. They got their lawyer. They got everything. They manipulating that stuff. They trying to live over there. They trying to eat for their blood type over there because they know about this here. They parents, they every, all of them know their blood type. It'd be other cultures and people in the American state that that's slipping on this one here, that's running back and forth to the hospital over here. The, the people that don't know themselves. Yeah. Yeah. A blood type weight loss list is everything. That snappers works. And yeah, there you go. There you go. I'm so happy for you, babe. <laughs> Serenity. Thank you. Thank you for your comment. So yeah. Let me check these comments. I like to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's say, I can't wait to grow my vegetables. Yeah, yeah. That's what's up. I have my garden. I love it. And a plum tree. Oh, okay. The other day, that's pretty cool that you say that because the other day I was at the store and I didn't have no more running room in my handle, but they had a, um, <laughs> oh, okay. Somebody else in that cash app. Okay. I'm about to check it. They had a um, plum tree out front that was for sale, but I didn't have no more room in my hand though. And I had meant to go back. <laughs> I had meant to go back and I, um, and I did it. All right. So, um, uh, how do you get the list? It's on my, um, and lost 50 pounds. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. You get the list by, um, did somebody send so somebody sent a um, cash app? Let's see. Send me the number. Send me the number to dial. Event. Send me the number. Email me the number that I'm dialing if you want to come on, um, do a voice call with me. My email address is salt of the earth pub at gmail.com. So yeah, I uh I didn't <laughs> I didn't get the plum tree, but I did get um, key lime and lemon tree. I got me a horseradish root. Um, I got me, I got me some Swiss card. I got a lot of things in my garden, and they're growing. Oh my, the green onions! Green onions grow so easily and so fast. And so I got that in my in my garden. I have birds, so I have um, in the yard that I love to feed. So I have a garden, one of those roll gardens a stand garden and then i put the little um the this white it's kind of like uh, i don't know mosquito type paper kind of like with a covering over it that way the birds or flies or anything because i'm in the desert they don't touch my food or whatever because i don't i don't want no fly or nothing touching my food so i keep my garden covered is what i'm saying but my stuff growing and it's growing really 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 nice i just don't want them to eat it all up before it get a chance to grow or before i get a chance to eat it <laughs> yeah so let's see let's see i can't grow the lime or lemon lemon where you are oh in kansas yeah yeah but out here we have a lot of orange lemon and lime trees already so i was so excited about it because i'm a b and the b blood type can have oranges the rest of the blood types can orange can produce bacteria so if you're just listening trying to ear hustle you know how the people that just be wanting to hear you know stuff so they could find out what they could do without supporting people that's t helping them them i'm talking to you the little freeloader don't you go get your no darn orange tree don't do that don't do that. Make sure you, you're hustling good on that one here. You get you an orange tree, you're gonna be full of full of bacteria. You don't it don't really pay the the ear hustle. What really, really helps is when you do right. <laughs> when you go with flow, when you understand that it's an energetic exchange. Yeah. But to each his own. Some of us are late bloomers. But yeah, send me a um email with the telephone number that I need to be dialing. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Let me see. Let me dial this number right quick, y'all. Y'all want to listen? Y'all want to listen? Y'all want to listen? I don't know what I did. Oh, there you go, right here. We're going to dial this number right quick. Do, 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 do
do do do do do do do do I need me a little assistant. A little live assistant in the physical. I know I got you out there, Miss Being Told. But I need one over here. <laughs> Could you dial this number for me, please? This person is up next. Yeah, a little assistant. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see. Let me verify the number. Okay. Boom. I just called you. You didn't answer me. You on the phone? Oh, they're calling me back, y'all. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Greetings. How are you? I am perfect. How you doing today? I am wonderful. I just ordered my bundle. I am so excited. I am so excited. And I wish I had gotten the bundle for all but I, I, I wasn't thinking so i just got mine right you know, because I, I cook for a lot of different people but i'll go back later and i'll order the bundle for um all blood types yeah and that way you'll know yeah definitely started eating for the blood type or um yeah well i just got my bundle today so I'm, I'm going to tweak everything that i'm doing and eat by by the uh, bundle that i received okay so on the bundle that you receive for and the I oh. it out and everything. okay perfect so on the weight loss cheat code bundle underneath the um, beverages and teas, all of those teas right there are calming teas, detoxing teas. Those tea, teas right there will highly benefit, be beneficial for you in that state of being because they're going to balance your hormones, your nervous system, and stop that. Now, hot flashes in. And that is on the that is on the cheat code, am I correct? Weight loss cheat code. It has it listed underneath um, beverages and teas. Let me grab mine right quick. Beverages. Okay, it's a for beverages. Wait a minute. Let me make, let me grab mine and make sure it's on your list. Let me find out where it is on your list. That's where I normally put it. I'm looking at the oils right now. Where did I put it? Okay, I see where I put it on you for the O. For the O on your the page that said high, highest beneficial food list. Okay, got it. By category, you see it there, beverages, teas, and coffee. Mm -hmm. That first line item, those three right there. Okay, never heard of those, but I will You never them. heard of them. I know you haven't, but that's where you go. That's you right there. And they, they're gonna help you. It's like gonna be calming, balancing your hormones, detoxing you. Your bowel gonna be more thick and bulky, but I want you to understand that what's happening is when we get the massive um, hot flashes, this is a person who had a diet that wasn't in alignment with their blood type. And so that's massive. Maybe they had in their life, they had painful periods. They didn't, they didn't have all kind of yeast overgrowth in their life. It didn't cause them dis-ease, but they were at a toxic level. And okay, so, I don't know what happened, but I cannot hear you. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? I'm still here. I can hear I, you. I cannot hear you. I can hear you. Can you hear me now? 
Hello, hello. I'm here. Can you hear me? I don't know if something happening. Are you walking? No, I don't hear nothing no more. I'm talking. All right, I don't know what happened to her call. I don't know what happened. Let me see if I can redial her. Yeah, can you hear me now? Okay, I can hear you now. The last thing I heard you say was they're going to be calming. That's the last thing I heard you say. Yeah, so it's going to be calming to you. It's going to balance your hormones, balance your whole body, really. Those are real balancing teas. Like, right? These are actually teas that um, are consumed mostly by, like, Buddhist monks or people that are in their um, spiritual journey, right? So they'll calm your body, but they're going to get rid of old fecal matter too. So your bowel is going to become bulkier too. You know, you're going to see things, waste coming out of you. And so when people get to the place where they have um, hot flashes, these are most likely the same people that had long painful periods. These people that, you know, probably even had periods when they were really young, you know, 12, 13 and develop fast. And all of that, if you think about all of that, is just showing us a level of toxicity we are when we have our periods young, when they're painful, and when they're long and heavy and bleeding. And then so when we get to the menopause stage, now we're having hot flashes that's unbearable. All of this is toxicity and hormonal imbalances, and it can be fixed. You eating right for your blood type going to be expelling stuff out. But you just definitely got to pay attention to those three T's right there. They're going to help you the most. Okay. Got it. I'm ordering them right now. Yeah. And I, I don't see, um, as far as O, shrimp and crab legs. Is that another? No. Um, uh, crab is no for O. Well, let, me, let me look at my list to make sure on that one. For the shrimp, I know I the bees. Okay, crab. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's neutral. It's neutral. Okay. It's neutral okay. for the old, for the olds. It's not for the bees. So that's neutral. But you as an old can't have the catfish and the calamari. That's what you can't have. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't like catfish. Or calamari. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But okay, yeah. No, Right. Bread to me is like a drug almost. It's like somebody to just throw in the dark and hit me with a dark and I'm out. So I don't like white bread anymore at all. Right. But thank you so much. I'm so grateful. This is really getting ready to change my life. I'm the one that turned in their uh, resignation letter. So my last day at work is next Friday and I'm in. I'm so. Look at you. A little mini me. So happy for you. I'm so proud of you too. Well, thank you so much. And I'm gonna get on so you can go ahead and get on back to everybody else. And keep me posted though. Keep me posted. I love to hear reviews from people though. Don't be a stranger. I will. Okay, be blessed, babe. Okay. Okay, bye. Thank you so much. Oops, I'm sorry. You're welcome. I hung up too fast. She was saying thank you so much. Anyway, she needs real card meat. Yeah, yeah. You're not invitation. Yeah. And so she was saying, I'm probably hopeful she's still here too. She was saying about the Ezekiel bread for O. Now keep in mind, O should be avoiding wheat. Ezekiel bread, they have different kinds. You know, they have a regular kind and they'll have, you know, the kind with lentils and all. But bread in itself, really there's only one called manna bread that's really um, beneficial. The Ezekiel bread still has like gluten. Like when you go into the bread, you're still dealing with a little bit of the gluten. Glue sticks to the walls of the intestines and prevent minerals from being absorbed too. So be light with that bread. If you have to have bread, be very, very light with any bread. 
If you are just starting out, maybe you can have only one bread instead of having two on the side. If you really, really sick or you know have some type of dis, dis ease or just homey, consider having your sea vegetable as your as your end of your meat or uh, burger, whatever. Sea vegetables or um, grape leaves, you know, or lettuce, things like that. You can put on both ends of your burger and then that way consume it. That way, that way you're not feed, fooling with no bread. Sea vegetables, lettuce, grape leaves, and put that on the outside of your burger and consume it like that. Let's, let's, let's um, be mindful of the bread. But everything else is really, really good. Yeah, manna. Manna. Manna bread. Y'all can hear me? Yeah. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Y'all can hear me? Some people say that they're not hearing me. Maybe my internet is going in and out or something. Maybe it is on my end. Y'all can hear me now? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know, let me know, let me know. Y'all can hear me? Yes? Okay, good. Good. So we were talking about the A's. Back to talking about the A's. So we, we, we discussed how important it is for the hydrochloric acid to be replenished by the proper salt. Does anybody know the name of the salt? If you are A and you listen to me, what's the salt that I'm talking about? The salt that's higher in magnesium. Somebody type that in the comment because y'all got to be learning this here. Somebody type, what is the highly beneficial salt? Yeah. What's the highly beneficial salt? Nobody don't know? None of the A's know the highly beneficial salt. No A. So nobody was listening to me. Celtic Grey. Thank you, Gemini. Celtic Grey. Celtic Grey. Yes. Pink and Malaya salt is good. Yes, you can hear me good. Celtic Grey salt. Pink and Malaya salt is good. Remember what I say? The pink is high in potassium. The gray is high in magnesium. Both are good, but for the A's, I want you to have the gray Celtic salt. Right? You was driving. Okay. <laughs> So, so what else, what else you put in your water, eh? What else you put in your water to alkalize your water that helps the lining of your digestive system because your digestive system has a buffer of the lining and what else are you putting inside of your water? What else are you putting inside of your hot water besides the green Celtic salt? We having lemon water in the morning, but but not. I'm not talking about the lemon water. I'm talking about what's going in your drinking water. Do what I just manipulated my water with. The sodium bicarbonate. What kind? Well, we putting almond ham up in our water, or we putting almond ham in our water? Please don't say yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't you put no almond ham in your water, eh? <laughs> Should the oils do the great? You could do the if if I highly have have been leaning toward the gray more now. I have my season of the pink. Pink is good, but because I know and I feel the difference, the the gray salt has been my go-to lately because I now know that the gray have more magnesium. The pink has more potassium. So it depends upon what you low in. There are some people who are low in potassium, and so they need the pink. But if you were low, low in potassium and you were low in, in magnesium, I say do both of them. But I've been putting the gray up in there. So when I talk about the sodium bicarbonates, I'm not talking about almond hammer. I'm talking about Bob's Red Mill. You can get this here from Amazon.com. Bob's Red Mill because why why we don't want to use um, almond hammer? Does anybody know that? Eh? Does anybody know why we're not using a cheap almond hammer? Why I want you to spend a little bit more money than your 99 cents for your almond hammer? Do I want you to just be broke? Why am I telling you this? <laughs> Do I want you to just be broke? Oh, Bob. <laughs> oh, Bob. Can type O be vegan? Mm, no, they always end up coming back. Why am I telling you this? Anybody know this yet? Why you, why, why you can't just use almond hammer? Anybody know that? Cause I just want you to spend your money. Cause, cause I know these people. Cause we go way back. Is that why? Does anybody know? Nobody don't know. 
Right. It has aluminum in it. It's not organic. Okay? So don't put regular almond hammer baking soda in your water. We want something that's really natural with no aluminum that's organic. We were trying to get to the cleanest state of being. This is really fine, rich sodium bicarbonate in its natural state. So this is the kind that we're going to get. So it was just mentioned that uh, we as O's, I mean, we as A's, drank lemon or key lime water up on rising. Why are we doing that? Because I said so. I, I, I want to make sure y'all got this here. The important things for your blood type. Why are we drinking key lime or lemon water? What the key lime and lemon water going to do for us as an A? Hmm? We can use both. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They both have minerals, 80 plus minerals to electrify your body. Why? Why? Somebody said to alkalize our body. Why? To help with that mucus. Because you produce a lot of mucus. To help with mucus. Yes. So you want to thin in that mucus out. It's going to alkalize your body. It's cleaning your body. But okay. So it's helping you with your mucus. And it's also helping you expel things through your lymphatic system, the backup of your blood. So when your blood gets thick and tacky from doing something you ain't supposed to, to thinning it back out, so your cells don't end up popping, so you don't end up having the, the cankles, so you don't end up having big old lymph, lymph nodes that's swollen, to thinning all of that lymphatic system out, you're gonna do the lemon or the key lime to help that lymphatic system to get that up out of your body via your adrenal glands opening up and expelling that thing through your kidneys. Right? Right? Your kidneys? Okay. So we got to, to our water. So do we have to go and buy expensive waters? No, we can manipulate a spring bottle, case of spring regular water and we manipulate it with our own salt. Perfect. We put our own um, minerals in there. Thank you for what you did to the water. They didn't leave, they didn't put in these waters. These are not much of any minerals, but it, it, it's, it's spring clean water that you could drink. You're gonna add your own life force to that. Your own great Celtic salt, your own pure organic sodium bicarbonates for your gut, because you need this here as an aid, right? And then you got your lemon, your sea vegetables. Sea vegetables are very important too for your A's. Sea vegetables help your body detox along with your highly beneficial vegetables on your meal plan. So are you going to boil all your vegetables down to, to them being little sloppy little soups? You're going to boil them down? You're going to boil your vegetables down to, to about 30 minutes and so? You're going to boil? No, you're not. Because you need your fruits and vegetables in its most organic form so it can sweep away and help you with this mucus inside of your body. Y'all getting this here. I'm, ha I'm so happy for y'all. As raw as possible. Right? And so we have sea vegetables. Sea vegetables, iodine in sea vegetables help your thyroid. And iodine helps the body to detox. Right? And so if you don't get the iodine from, um, from sea vegetables, if you're not eating your, 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 your sushi or your, your soy with your, with the benefits that soy protein gets you, if you're not eating your seaweed sushi type wraps, you can get you off of Amazon some at home kelp seasoning. Sea vegetables, this is for all blood types here, but I'm talking to the A. Sea vegetables are highly beneficial. If you have iodine, if you have um, thyroid issues and you sitting up there looking at me, you need to be writing this down here and buying this here, regardless of what blood type you are. And so you could put this here on your salads. You could put this in with your shake season. Not a lot. A little goes a long way. Pay attention to how, how rich this stuff is. So you only need you don't want to overdo it too much of anything it's not good for you too so you need sea vegetables in your diet to help to detox your body 
You need iodine, right? This is a rich source of iodine. Anybody that have thyroid issues. So we, we're talking to the A's and we're really getting into the A's because I've been neglecting them for a minute. Now you also have to pay attention to your additives A's because you cannot tolerate any type of vinegar. So that means all of the dressings that you've ever had probably out because vinegar <laughs> in your sensitive digestive system is a no-no. All types. So that really means that um, you shouldn't really be having ketchup when you eating your fish because you could eat a whole bunch of seafood but you shouldn't be putting no ketchup on the side of it because there's vinegar inside of ketchup you see you got to think about those things so there's vinegar in in certain must um mustards you know so you just got to really pay attention to the things that they have vinegar in you can't tolerate pickle relish either. Pickled vinegar type things beats a little bit too much for you. High fructose corn syrup, you should stand clear from that because that's gonna bring you back to the old program because high fructose corn syrup tricks your brain into thinking that you're hungry when you're really full. So if you coming from like the cultural diet of a black person, you know, you're black and you used to have, um, you know, your so-called fixes, your chips and your, you know, snacks, one time dipping back over there to that high fructose corn syrup going to trick you and go, you're going to forget all about your meal plan. And that's going to lead you back over there because high fructose corn syrup is like you being on a little drug that you got to wean yourself off. So that means you have to really have a strong reason why. And often than not, if it, it, most people get their strong reason when they end up with cancer, thyroid issue, pacing out, you know, can't, you know, out of breath thinking they're going to die. So we don't want to get to that point. Have you a good solid reason so you can stay on eating the highly beneficial things because maybe you were there. Because you, you want your mental clarity back. Because you want to be around with, you know, for your for your grandchildren. Stuff like that that really have some substance. Because I am my grandmother's wildest dream. And I'm going to be the generational um, curse breaker. You know? Of the, of the foolery of their mind. Mindfulness. All right, vinegar should be avoided because the acids tend to cause your stomach lining to irritate. Now, if you want to irritate your stomach lining, go ahead and wild out on your vinegar A. Somebody type A so the people that's coming in know I'm talking to the A's. If you want your stomach to be irritated, keep on with your vinegar. You want some more irritation? Okay, well, keep on with your chili pepper. A, y'all type A. You, you keep... You keep on with your chili pepper, you keep on with your winter green, you keep on with your white pepper, your peppercorn, your cayenne pepper, your black pepper. Keep on with your pepper. Keep on with your vinegar if you're eight and you want some more. Because grandma said a hard head make a soft ass. Maybe your head <laughs> being hard, you ain't finished being a hard headed person yet. Maybe your soft, your ass ain't soft enough just yet. But A's, you gotta stay away from vinegar and peppers. They have gone viral, the chili pepper thing with the oil and the lemon. And the people in the comments that say it irritated my stomach are the A's. Because they shouldn't be consuming no peppers. The, when they digest that thing, oh, it feels a little soothing because they digest it and that oil is covered up the fat that they had pepper in there. But when they get that thing in that stomach, being that their stomach has no hydrochloric acid and it, that, that oil starts to dissolve and what's left in the lining of the stomach is pepper now, they irritate it. So everything ain't working for everybody. Learn what works for you. Vinegar doesn't work for you. Peppers do not work for you. You have beneficial herbs on your at-home herbal um, plan that will work for you. You put that concoction together and it will work for you. It will soothe your digestive system. It will expel that mucus. That is available on the bundle on my website, saltoftheearthpub.org. You have a bunch of green um, teas on your list that you could consume to help you on your journey too, to further expel waste. 
on your meal plan, on everybody's meal plan, they have herbal teas based upon their blood type that they should be consuming to give them what their body is missing. Everybody, blood type, won't long for something. <laughs> and that's where your herbal teas come in at. All right, so as far as your fruits are concerned, even though you can consume all these fruits and vegetables, there are some that mean you no good. And that will be oranges because now you're going to get some more yeast up in your stomach some more mucus in your stomach and you can't afford no more of that there you can't afford no more mucus because your body produced mucus leave the papaya alone leave the orange juice alone leave the mango alone see those are popular see they have vegans out there you getting you getting the real deal right here they have vegans in the physical reality that are only vegans because their A's and it feels better than eating meat. So they become a vegan and they, they eat all of the fruits and the vegetables. But if they put that papaya and that orange juice or that mango or that coconut to their mouth and they cause an inflammation. And this is why vegans are still sick because they ain't eating for their blood type. They left all the meat alone. They got the willpower to do that, but they still dwelling out with the wrong type of food that's connecting with their blood, creating inflammation still. Tangerine, honey, do melon. Honey, do melon has a high about a mold in it. So you already don't have no high hydrochloric acid in your gut. So if you eat honey, do melon, now you got some mold up in there too. You got some yeast up in there too. Let's say you had honey, do melon. You think you're doing good. You ate a whole honey, do melon. And later on that day, oh, I'm going to just juice. I'm, oh, I think I'm going to juice some oranges. You ain't did nothing as an egg to yourself. But cause further inflammation, cause further mold inside of your gut. Now your gut is like a little yeast factory and you thought you was doing good. Now you constantly getting yeast infections. Now you got BV, bacteria vaginosis if you're a lady. Now you got thrash. You got recurring um, yeast infections, BV, and you got thrash on your tongue because inside of your gut, which is where you keep on getting your issues, you got to get a lot of yeast. And your tongue is just a mirror for your gut telling you the situation of what's going on up in here. And if it ain't pink and, pink and pretty, if it's, yeah, if it's white, it ain't right. <sighs> Let's see. We got to get used to eating our tofu season with our spices. I love it now. Yeah, it's something to get used to. But boy, when you, when you get over the fact that Man, I got to do this. Man, everybody else doing that. Oh, I'm used to that old way of program. When you get over that, you win. And you also practicing mindfulness. When you get over the idea that, you know, I'm black and no, oh, I got to have fried chicken and chitlins, you win. <laughs> you win. We got to get over here to a certain culture and begin to eat for our blood type that feels good, that gives us our vital minerals. I love the way you explain. Yeah, I love spicy and vinegar. There you go. Well, the choice is up to you. The choice is up to you. Like I said, yeah, black pepper. Oh, hey, like we're gonna say, make a soft face. Yeah, my ass is real soft. <laughs> I miss all the peppers and the salad dressing, but I'm not eating that no more, yeah. But you get together with your highly beneficial herbs. You put your oil. This is how you make your own dressing. You put your oil, kind of like this um, at-home herbal portion that you have from your meal plan. It consists of an oil. It consists of your herbs. And it consists of a sweetener that's beneficial for your blood type too. You, you manipulate those type of three things. Because when you when you trying to make up any, any dressing, they're going to have an oil up in here. They're going to have something sweet up in there. They're going to have something spicy up in there. And maybe something bitter up in here, like their vinegars. But for you, in lieu of the vinegar, you can use your lemon. And you can make your, your dressings for yourself to go on your, your fish, to go on your salad. You got to be creative, though. You got to be creative. And you want to be creative with your um, plans because you don't want to get bored with it. You don't want to get bored with it. You want to create different meals because when I started this journey for me, when I let go of pork chops, which I used to come up on and I loved, I let go of that, but I learned how to make fried portobello mushrooms as a chicken alternative that tastes like fried chicken because I season it the same way. 
but it was a mushroom. It was just as crunchy and just delicious as my chicken would be, but it was a mushroom. Every time I let go of something that wasn't serving me, I replenished it. And you got to do this because you want to set yourself up for success. So failure comes when you set unrealistic expectations. When you leave room for failure, that's when it comes to get you. So even for my drinks, I used to like me some box root beer. I used to like the pineapple, pineapple um, big shot that they serve in New Orleans. I don't know if that's good everywhere in the world, but it's a pineapple big shot that I grew up on. But when I began to let go of that because of the sugars and the high fructose corn syrup, I learned how to make my key limeade, my lemonade with my beneficial um, sweetener for my blood type. I learned how to make all kinds of smoothies and fruit juices that I would replenish in my refrigerator. If I didn't have that in my refrigerator, if I sat there and I drank water all day, water would have became boring. Even with the Celtic salt, even with the pink um, Himalaya salt at that time that I was using, manipulate my water even though my water after you do that your water tastes smoother it would have got boring so i had to learn my teas i had to learn my fruit drinks that i was going to replenish once i got rid of them soul drinks um and soft drinks and i advise you to do this too so you don't fail so you won't give up on you and then you turn around and now you've created a whole meal plan that you love now you have created all kind of teas, all kind of smoothies that are your favorites. You got all kind of alternative things like portobello mushrooms or things that you could go to if you want, if you're thinking back on the um, chicken days. And then, and then you got different types of salads. And, and now you, you, you got this whole meal. You got these, these fish that you never even tried, but oh my God, they're delicious. Where have I been? I didn't even know that this fish exists. The texture of it, I love it. Now you have this whole meal plan that, that you like now, and you ain't even thinking about the old way of doing things. This is the new law. You ain't even craving for those things no more because now you have over here your digestive enzymes and the hydrochloric acid and the improved microbiome diversity and the parasites gone. The beneficial bacteria are way in the bag. So you ain't having no flashbacks no more. You ain't got no high fructose corn syrup tricking you into going back no more because it ain't in your system no more. You done weaned yourself off of those things. Now you can walk down the street and there, now you're off the sickness and disease frequency and you're to health and wellness. Now nothing shall no means harm you unless you harm you and go back. Unless you turn around and turn into a pillow of salt because you went back. And that's totally up to you. But you can't blame it on nobody else after you get to that place. It be you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all melons have always been my downfall. We have to think about it. Chicken has no flavor unless it's seasoned. Yeah, unless you put the herbs and spices on there. That's weird what you're going to. Because if that was the case, people would be pulling on over on the side of the road saying, Oh, that going chicken. Let me go get it. Let me eat it now. He running. Oh, let me just break his leg. It's not that. It's not that. It's that flavor and stuff that you put it on there. Right? Hey, Free Spirit. Thank you for being here, babe. Let's see. I had to let go of chicken. Yeah, we all do. And I I was a chicken, baked chicken, fried chicken, barbecued chicken lover. And I'm a blood type that chicken was inflaming me years ago. And I caught on to that. And when I first started my journey, I wrote about it in my book. I'm a blood type B. We can't have chicken because of the hormone in it. It inflames us. And, you know, and I know how to do everything with the chicken. I'm black. If you ain't noticed, I know how to make mean fried chicken. <laughs> but I had to take my mean fried chicken energy and use it on a mean portobello mushroom. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I can go maybe to something that's neutral in the, you know, so for bees, if any of the bees here, well, you bees, like me, turkey is neutral. So if I decided that I wanted to eat meat, I would make maybe turkey wing, you see, instead of a chicken wing. Because the turkey in its muscle, it has so many hormones and agglutinating lectins that I'll be on fire for the rest of the day. Now, it'll taste good in that moment, but then... I'll be like, okay, I'm going to go lay down, you know? Yeah, I think I'm tired. Because <laughs> all my serotonin will be gone, my dopamine will be gone, all because I wanted to fry chicken. You get to a point in your journey, with it, 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 it's, it's, a, it's a progress. Because in the beginning, you're like, I ain't leaving. I ain't leaving that thing alone. This lady, I don't know what she's talking about. 
I'm going I'm to try some of her stuff, but I'm keeping my chicken. I'll be damned. But then you get to a point in your journey where you start to feel, dang, every time I eat, that lady was right. Every time I eat this darn chicken, that'd be the end of my day. And then you get to that place like, look, I ain't fooling with that chicken no more. I, I, I'm tired. I got things to do. I ain't got time to be tired. I ain't got time to be depressed because I eat chicken. I'm going to leave that chicken alone. And then you're ready. But you got to get really, really tired of feeling that way, right? And when you're really tired, you're ready to make that change. You all in and you ain't going back. You What? Girl, look. I ain't got time for no chicken. They got chicken up here? Oh, I don't want it. I don't care what you did with it. No, nope. I don't care how you cleaned it. No, nope. I don't want it. I just don't want it. Leave me alone. It don't even, it don't even phase me no more. You got to get to that point. And when you're there, you have arrived and you've mastered self. You've mastered mindfulness in the journey. You developed a new concept for your sen yourself. You're sending out a new signal too that I'm worthy, that I love myself, that this is the kingdom of God and I ain't going to sit up here and turn it into a den of thieves. Yeah, it matters. Let's see. Thank y'all for joining the live. Thank y'all for the likes. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Let's see. Um, yeah, black pepper as well. Your detailed explanation makes it easier to make changes to my diet and lifestyle. Thank you. You are so welcome, Gemini. And I do that on purpose because it helps people to learn. It helps me along my way. This is the things that I would tell myself. So I'm giving y'all the cheat codes of my thoughts, how I got from over there. To where I am, how I healed my body from being having to wear glasses, from irritable syndrome, from vertigo, from thyroid issues, from being overweight, from mental fatigue, from actually anxiety, depression. You know, because you, your serotonin and your dopamine effect will go away when you eat a certain thing based upon your blood type. You know, from fluid field acne. You know, from painful periods. You know, different different things like different things like that. From thinning hair. My hair used to be thin. My hair used to be thin. That's why I cut I cut all of my hair off. I had long perm hair to this hair length. And I shaved all of my hair. If you follow me on YouTube, you know this to be true. And and it got to a point before I shaved it though, I had in the big in the middle of my hair, I don't have it anymore, but in the middle of my hair, my hair was thinning it out. Because of this, because of this gut. Because the fibers in me in inside of me, because we have hair like fibers inside of our gut, they were gone here. So life showed me, me, inside of me, what was going on inside of me, it's going to show face. No hairs up in here equals no hair up here. So I'm talking to my alopecia people because what you're eating then took all of the fibers up in here away. Of course, you're not going to have none here. These fell out, so this got to fall out too. Everything goes back to the gut. And then when I cleaned that out, hair grew back. Vision got clear. Stop wearing glasses because I wasn't able to eliminate and absorb my food. So then, then in my eyes, I'm not going to be able to absorb no light, spectrums of light with my vision either. It goes together. So you, so, so you can say, you know, I'm just here for a good time, not a long time, all you want to. I don't see the good in the time when you can't see the time. I don't see the good in the time when, when you know, you at the beach and you got a wig on. And you don't have to have the wig on and it's hot with the wig on, but you got the wig on because you don't have no fibers of hair in here. So that, that means you ain't going to have no fibers of hair up here until you take care of here, until you take care of the kingdom of God up in here. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I explain it that way. Uh, I had to let go of that chicken. Yeah. When you get sick, you must really make that change. Yeah. By that time. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. If you want to experience a good quality of life, you do. That's the, that's the time to, to make a change. And really, what is it saying? Really, in the grand scheme of things, you just got to experience in itself. And God is experiences itself by two polarities. That's why everything in this simulated environment has two sides. There's a time to be born and there's a time to die. There's black, there's white, there's yin, there's yang. There's male versus female. There must be male and there must be female principles. There must be two sides to everything. So there must be sick people and there must be healthy people. And since God is experiencing itself in the physical reality, there's a moment where God experiences itself being sick. And ain't nothing wrong with that. But God has to get tired of being sick on purpose. God has to get tired of experiencing sickness 
to get to the wellness state of being. And then God going to experience wellness. But together, whether sick or healed, God is experiencing himself. It's all God. And so therefore, we need sick people in the physical reality. They will always be. Because this here, both sides, represents balance. And God is balance in all things. It's one God experiencing itself. The total opposite of itself. And so sickness must be here. Everybody ain't going to be, not in this realm, everybody ain't going to be healthy. Not in this realm. But we have something called seasons. The law of rhythm. There's a time for all things underneath the sun. So the law of rhythm gives us our season to where we jump over to another state of being to experience God in another way. So it's either your season or not. Right? True. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's see. Amen. Amen. Facts. Uh, colon cleansing. Um, uh, hysterectomy. You look so happy. Oh, thank you. And happy. I mean, and healthy now. Yeah. I've lost five pounds. Look at you, Cruz. Congratulations to you. I'm so happy for you. Cruz and lost five pounds. We're going to count every last one of them, too. We're going to count them all joy. That's for you, Cruz. So it don't matter if you didn't have to answer over here, just in case y'all can't. Well, of course y'all can't see. Over there, they're asking about hysterectomy and colonoscopies and things like that. And so I would say to you, it really doesn't matter after the fact. Before the fact, don't let people just take your organs and your, your, your parts of your lymphatic system out your body. If you're here today and you got one scheduled, consider eating for your blood type. Consider changing your diet because that's really all you need to do. But if you didn't have all of them nips and, and, and you know, taken out of you, take, you know, some people didn't tip their tonsils out, partial um, hysterectomies. And, and so afterwards, after they do that, they ended up getting a little worse, like, right? They, um, like for the tonsils being taken out, they end up, now they can't smell no more, you know? <laughs> now their breath and stuff starts stinking. They can't even smell their breath, you know? They can't breathe. They got a whole bunch of mucus production. So why is this here? Because a part of the lymphatic system that got removed. Before the part of the lymphatic system got removed, they wasn't healthy in begin with because that's why the tonsils was bothering them. They wasn't eating the highly beneficial stuff to begin with to get it out of there because of the lymphatic system being clogged up. So now they had a removed part of the lymphatic system that was only saying to them, I got it. I got the toxins. I, I did my job. I'm swole for you. I got the trash. Help me. Give me some key lime. Give me a diuretic. Give me something that's going to open up my adrenal glands. Give me something to expel the waste. I got the trash. Help me. But they got tired of the tonsil talking. And they went down to the doctor. They got tired of the infections around it. They got went to the doctor and they just, okay, doc, take it out. The thing that was supposed to be helping them, excuse me, the thing that was supposed to be helping them, they took it out. If I was the time, I'd be like, I ain't talking to you no more. <laughs> I ain't telling you nothing else. You just gonna take me out and I was trying to help you? What kind of friend are you? But nonetheless, they took it out. It's over. That's done. So what happens is the lymphatic system tries to find another route to expel stuff. And the other pathway or other route in the lymphatic system will probably be now through the nose, like, right? Will probably be now through their nose to get the stuff that's up in here out with them. May, or maybe it'll go to this here pathway and start, they'll start to sweat more. But if this here is clogged up with antiperspirant right here, and this here is clogged up being that they still ain't eating highly beneficial stuff. They don't have no key lime. They don't have no lemon in their diet. They don't eat no kind of citrusy type fruit for the um, blood type. Then now they can't smell. And then now the pathway to get here is still hard to get to. This is why it's so important. So if you did have your tonsils taken out, it's okay because you can eat for, right for your blood type and it'll be expelled through your nose now. Through another way to get out of your body. Through you sweating more and releasing your, to your um, toxins that way too. Because toxins in the lymphatic system come out via your, 
your lymph nodes too, and you got a gain of lymph nodes right here. It come out through your sweat too, right? And so it's really, really important for the A's to oil pull. Oil pulling for A's is very important because, especially if you have tonsils removed, because the process of oil pulling is going to pull toxins and mucus out and draw it to your mouth so you could spit it out in a trash can. So you brush your teeth, you put a carrier oil in your mouth, and you put about five drops of the alchemist oil inside of the... Um, let me get the um, a, a, a alchemist oil inside of the carrier oil and you gargle with it and the process of you gargling with that is drawing the toxins forward through the oil so the, drawing the mucus this is why after you oil pull you end up with a bunch of mucus and you want to blow your nose or you want to hulk up because you have loosened it up now and so on my website the first link I gotta get off of this live in a minute I gotta ship these orders I just thought about it <laughs> I'm running my mouth and I got orders and it's right and I got to get it out. So uh, the first link is on the website is going to be the um, the Sustain Detox and Alchemist Oil Bundle. So this is what the Sustain Detox look like. It's a, it comes in a package like this here on my website, right? It's a black, um, it has a black uh, label on it. If you're on my website, solidaryparp.org. But this is the Alchemist Oil that I'm talking about. It looks like this. It's a bottle. It's a blue bottle that you'll be looking for on my website. So... What you're doing as an A that has tonsil issues is what you, you're going to put a carrier oil, a teaspoon of a carrier oil, that's highly beneficial for your blood type, and about five drops of the alchemist oil mixed into that carrier oil because this is powerful by itself. It got to be diluted. And after you brush your teeth, you gargle with this. You keep this in your mouth and it's going to draw out and it's going to open up them pathways. It's going to be helping your lymphatic system to flow in this area, helping break up this mucus, helping call forth the parasites up in here and up in here in this area. And you spit that thing out and then you'll be lighter. Keep doing that every day. Every day as an egg, you need to be oil pulling. And so... To, to the next part of um, the question for hysterectomies and, and things in, the, in your female region. Well, the gut is connected to all things. So the reason why you probably end up having to get there to your place in your journey where you've had them nipping and snipping down there is endometriosis, painful periods, you know, um, toxins. We, we're going back to being toxic down there. And so for those type of people, I pay attention to the soaps that you're putting on your body, you, the, the pH level of the vagina itself, because the vagina is supposed to be slightly acidic. And soaps have lye inside them, which is akin to oven cleaner. So if the vagina is supposed to be slightly acidic, and we put an oven cleaner, which has a high pH in it, it's constantly keeping the vagina out of balance. It's constantly causing the vagina to have to fight and work harder, right? So the vagina being out of balance and the gut being out of balance because this person probably ain't eating for their blood type, the gut is connected to that too. So you got the yeast coming from the gut. This is this is this is a combination of things when you get to that place of being when you're being snipped and snapped down there. You got your gut being out of balance. That's God forbid this lady is taking um, birth control pills. The gut is out of bounds already because they ain't eating for their blood type. This is, let's say, A, blood type. Your gut out of bounds, they ain't eating for your blood type. You're producing extra mucus, so you mucus filled. Then you're getting yeast infections because your gut is out of bounds, and you're taking birth control pills, which helps to create more mucus in the walls of your vagina, and so you don't get impregnated. <laughs> Then you take a bath and you wash yourself with a soap that has lye inside of it. Your vagina don't stand a chance. Doctors don't tell you that it's as simple as sometimes changing your soap that you got reoccurring yeast infections or changing your diet, which is why you get them yeast infections. They don't tell you the root cause. They just want to send you, oh, well, we're going to prescribe this because they study medication. They don't study healing. And so those be the three things right there. And then, then okay, let's say you love to have sex. This could get you too. You love to have sex, semen is more alkaline, the vagina is supposed to be slightly acidic, 
but you love se having sex, you know, and you, you getting secreted in, and so that semen sitting in you and bring your pH off too. So for AIDS, you really, really could end up in that place. But if you're there, it's all over. That's how you got toxic. I was just telling you how you got toxic, just in case somebody here don't get, don't you know, on their way there, they'll stop doing those things and not be as toxic. But so now, you know, you done got the for sure. Now you need to eat right for your blood type, definitely. Now you need to right, eat right for it because now you got to really help that lymphatic system. The lymphatic system been busy trying to get you right all these years to get them toxins out of there. So you got to help the lymphatic system, which is the backup for your blood. Because trust and believe, if you have problems down here as a woman that's, that, that has everything to do with blood, your cycle, your blood, your life, your portal of life. Then if you have problems down there, that lets you know automatically that your lymphatic system has been working its butt off. And so you definitely need to be taking care of it by opening up the adrenal glands and allowing them acids to get up out of there, them toxins to get up out of there, them balances to get up out of there. You need to be using the proper soaps on your body too that are in a pH balance for your skin, that are slightly acidic, that mimic the balance of the skin too and the balance of the vagina too. Because you can't walk, you can't walk around with the alkaline vagina. At least you want to be back and forth in the hospital and get things cut off. And then somebody finally, somebody asks about um, colonoscopy. I don't believe in going in the back door for with no doctors. Like I don't believe in going in the back door at all. Keep the back door shut. Just go in the front door. It got everything got in there in the front door. You we put that in there through the front door. So you go through the front door to get that what you put in there out of there. Ain't no back door. Ain't no ain't, ain't no back door. Mm -mm. The back door should be letting stuff out. The back door should not be letting nothing in. Just let out in the back door. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that. Mm -mm. I just like I don't believe that we like um you know should be opening up. To, to these different surgeries and putting different things like the like the um the um you know the one that you can put in the arm the little birth control thing in the arm I, I don't believe that your body your body is 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 getting to <laughs> to repair mode so to speak because you didn't put a foreign object in there and I'm talking about breast tissue booty tissue uh birth control I don't I don't believe in that to each his own the people that do that you know I would strongly suggest if you do that type of thing Please take care of your lymphatic system because your whole body is wondering and it's trying to fight that thing to get it out of your body. It's wondering what the heck is this? We didn't create this. How this got up in here? Who put this here? Let's try to fight it. When it could be fighting, it could be very well fighting for your life when you really need it instead of fighting titty tissue or booty tissue or a forming, or a forming um, substance that you put up in here to stop yourself from being impregnated. I just don't believe in it. I, I don't mean to, you know, hurt nobody feelings. I just don't. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. Um, have you ever done a pull? Oh, no, I didn't do that. Have you ever? Okay, I did that one already. Facts. Okay. Um, awesome. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, oh, colon cleanse. Colon, well, just as long as we were talking about the back though, you said not colon, I speak colon cleanse. Okay. Colon cleanse, I just showed you the same detail that cleans the body of old fecal matter. You back home, thank you. I'm about to wrap up, Miss Bezel. That that's a cellular cleanse, the cells of the body. That's that's really 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 deep. That's the deepest cleanse that I have on my website. Sustain detox, and it works. Miss Bezel had is she she right there? She has it. I've I've had it. That's that's the that's the actual. Cleanse that I use to stop me from wearing glasses. That, that's me. That, I made that for me first, and it worked for me. All of this colon cleanse stuff, no. Mm -mm. I don't believe in that. I don't believe, like I said, I don't believe in going to the back door. Yeah. Yeah, you still have yours at 75. Good for you. Yeah. I do a watch Mama Trey on TikTok, you guys, or the same subject, except she cusses a lot. Uh, no, I don't, um, Donna. I heard of her though. I went to go see, you know, how she looked or whatever. I heard of her. Somebody else was talking about the same thing about her cussing or whatever. I heard her. Yeah, type A. I heard her, um, you know, 
She's a little sassy lady, but I mean, everybody different. People, yeah, she does. <laughs> She's in a different place in her journey. I ain't, I ain't that no more. Yeah, yeah. You use coconut oil for oil pulling? Okay, okay. What is that oil again? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Oh, the alchemist oil. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta wrap up. I see my tray get up. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I don't see. Oh, there it goes. Wait, wait, wait. I'm coming. My phone's about to die. It got dark on me right quick on one of my phones. It might cut off if it does. I'm about to wrap up in a second, y'all. Let me see if I can put this in here, though, before it die completely. Let's see. Let's see. I thought it was charged. Okay, there it go. Oh, I got 4%. I'm about to wrap up, but it's charging. Um, let me answer the last of these. Nice explanation. Now it makes sense. Yeah, fibroids. Yeah, you need that highly beneficial at home herbal portion for the fibroids. You need to soften that and um, help to open up your liver and your kidneys so it could help and assist you. If you just break these things down in layman's terms, you know you know that it makes common sense. It's the easiest, simplest, invasive um, way of approaching health and wellness. And that's the path that you should we should be consuming or going down. But broad is the way that leads to destruction. And many people go that way every day. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Well, I'm going to help you with that problem right now. So you don't ever have to worry about me again. Um, Elisa. Okay, bye. You don't have to ever worry again. Alisa, Alisa Supreme, two, 2018. All right. Okay, thank you. Let's see. They said colon cleanse. Okay. She's so much meaner. <laughs> I love her, but she does cuss a lot. Y'all still talk about that lady? I need um to add that cleanse to my order that I ordered yesterday. Okay, y'all still talking about them other people. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm behind on this. Which client which clients should I do first? Which clan should I do first? I would say get the bundle. Because getting the bundle will help you with knowing the beneficial things for your diet. So you could do a, a cleanse and now you're not educated. You're not educated at all on what's causing the inflammation. So if you ain't educating yourself on what caused the inflammation, you could be on a cleanse and eat it. And now in the midst of the cleanse, your body like, what? What's she saying? What's she doing? I thought we was getting stuff out. I got to go back over here and find out this information. No, we don't have time for that. You see what I'm saying? So start first there to get everything that you need and start eating right for your blood type. Because the blood type things that's on that list is cleansing you. They are cleansing you. They are putting your body in the proper state to get rid of things that's not serving you. They are replenishing your digestive enzymes. They are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, y'all fussing at each other. I should have said cold. Okay, okay. I have two pages, so so I gotta answer all as, as best as I can and, and group them together. So, let's see. Did I catch that one over here? Uh, yeah, we let go of chicken over here. I read that one already. Hey, goddess, I just found out my blood type today. So now I could be more intentional about what I eat. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud as told by Kyle. I'm happy for you. Let's see, all pulling for a couple of weeks. Every morning, mucus comes up in my into my throat. There you go. There you go. So I told you about the fiber thing. The fiber thing will be highly beneficial for the at-home ver um, herbal potion because it's going to help you with your liver and your kidney detoxing. Liver is how you live. The kidneys, because the liver holds toxins too, you know. The kidneys is helping to clean the blood. And so you clean the blood and now you're lubricating with that oil, your highly beneficial oil, and that's softening and breaking it out. Your, um, that situation that's in your, in your gut, fibroids, is, is breaking up old fecal matter. So you can't go wrong. That's gonna really be the most valuable and beneficial thing, you see? 
It's going to be the most valuable and beneficial thing that you can get because you now have every food item from fruits, nuts, seeds, herbs, spices, spices, meats, seafoods, everything you need, everything, including your highly beneficial oils. All right. So that's it. Oh, Miss Being so Miss Being so got rid of somebody. Okay, I just ordered the detox and the oil. Yeah, yeah. But that's cool. That's cool. It's cool. Everybody, everybody speaks from a place of where they are in their journey. So I got, I gotta, you know, I gotta, I gotta talk. I'm on live. I, you gotta come to see me just sitting here. But people latch out based upon where they are in their journey. And believe it or not, the saddest thing, the reason why I really don't like blocking people, I blocked my first person yesterday. But the reason why I don't is because sick people, sick people, I understand them because hmm, I once was sick. They're so irritable. They, some of them so nasty. And I'm not talking ill about nobody else, but they were talking about another person who was cursing and stuff. But you got to understand some people aren't already all the way all the way well and so when you're sick you had low frequency you had disease state and i'm not telling people encouraging you to be a mean ass learn how to talk to people learn how to treat people but what i am saying is i used to be sick i used to be irritated and so they'll come here sometimes they'll be like look when you go talk about the oh i could feel it in the energy i read energy i could feel it in it when I see the ones that are really sickly and just desperate, just look, just help me. No, I don't want to talk about the hey, You ain't talking about the whole, get, get to the point. But you got to understand, like when, yeah, I understand the fact that when my thyroid issue was really, really bad, I was so mentally fatigued till I was like looking at people. I gave people the look. I, I wasn't necessarily mean to them with the spoken word. I gave them a look like, what the hell you want? I ain't got time for that shit today because I'm experiencing dis-ease, because I'm not in balance with myself, because I could only give you the gutter that's inside of me at that point. It was only gutter. So you got, when when dealing with these type of people, they come, they come in with the gutter. We're trying to manipulate, t lying, emailing me, lying, telling me, oh no, I meant to get this one and you sent me the wrong one, send me the right one. When it's computer generated i talked about that the other day so you're gonna get that and i understand that i'm happy to have a moderator you know and i, and I block sometimes but not all the times i really don't because i know myself i'm here oh thank you thank you so much thank you for the um the um, gifts i love gifts wait a minute wait 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 i'm here already i'm something you want to be i'm in a place in my journey where you want to be at <laughs> That's my return to you, Cruz. I'm giving you kisses for my gift. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I'm healed. They're sick. I'm tapped into my, my full power and my purpose. They are not. So they really need me more than they think, you know, more than they, you know, you would think they'll be nicer, but they sick. They sick. They are sick and they have a sick mind. You got that. So I often remember that and I think about myself. Not that I let nobody talk to me any kind of way. It's just the fact that I know who I am. You know? I am the I am. They don't define me. I do. You know? And I win. They're losing right now. They're losing and I'm winning. <laughs> yeah. So I'm about to get up out of here because I've been on here um, for a while. I mean, right for a but I, How often should I cleanse a year? Six months to a year, yeah. Am, I am a type A positive. I have a lot of mucus. Key limes and um, lemon helps with your mucus and eating right for your blood type. People are hurting. Yeah, people are very, very, very hurt and are hurting. You're so intuitive. Yeah, yeah, thank you. You are too. Thank you for noticing. You're welcome, Cruz. Yeah, amen. Blessing. Yes. Okay, I'm caught up on that. And amen. Yeah, inflammation caused crankiness. Unfortunately, yeah. You'll see them. You'll see them on the comments. Um, some of them on the comments. Um, of the videos that I post when I talk, and people get triggered too. So it's not just inflammation that's causing this here. You know, it's the food of the inflammation that's causing it. The lack of dopamine and serotonin because of the foods that they choosing to consume that's constantly causing it. Like right, but but at the same time, being in that situation for so long. You know, and not knowing where to go and what to do. 
you know, the lifestyle, the lack of the ability to focus. They got all kinds of things pressing against them. Because now if you can't focus, you can't focus on the good to get you out of the slump. So it's like a it's like a a portal, a downwards portal that those people are on. And I understand. I used to go down there. I got tired of being down there though. <laughs> I got tired. They be so cranky. They the ones that wish somebody would. You know, every time they go somewhere, they wishing somebody would. Of all the things you could wish for, they wishing somebody would. Because they're cranky, they're ready. But it don't have to be like that. And I'm, my purpose is really to get people out of that. That's why I don't, honestly, I don't like blocking them people. I don't like blocking them. I really don't. But sometimes you just have to. I need to heal my eyesight. I'm looking forward to doing the cleanse. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm looking forward to your testimony. Yeah, because I, I really want to be in a position to help people, not just be blocking people. Because I don't believe, I don't even believe in uh, blocking, you know, exits and stuff like people say. <laughs> I, I, do, I don't. Not that I'll talk to them, but I'm just saying, I believe in in, in whatever going to edify my church and give me some more, you know, give me another lesson to learn. And so even with blocking exits, I don't feel like energy needs to be blocked. So what I do, instead of blocking people that maybe that I don't want to so-called talk to, I'll just practice mindfulness. And I'll look at it as if it's a lesson for my greater good. For me to learn how to control my imagination and learn how to focus, right? So what I'll do is, if I don't, yeah, I'm talking about the men, like, right? That's trying to maybe get with me in the past. That was trying to get to me. <laughs> I would no longer reply. But when I see that they call, being that I did not block them, I'll practice mindfulness, the ability to focus, to allow the fact that they called and whatever they said to flow through me and not respond. See, I, I like to practice mental games to help me with my mindfulness in every area of my life. That's the game of life that I'm playing. And even for sickness and wellness, that's what I practice with mindfulness to teach me how to get away from the, the, the milk to something that was serving me a little bit better. It was always mindfulness. And sometimes you, you could respond <laughs> without getting emotionally tied to things. And that you, that's you leveling off and balancing yourself. Because you're gonna get to a place, we're gonna get to a place in our journey where it ain't gonna be about the food no more, y'all. It's gonna be about the it's, it's about the battle of the mind. These are the principalities that we really fight against. And it is the most terrible thing that you can waste, like, right? You don't wanna waste this here. You wanna have control over this here. Because this here is the reason why all of you can do what you're doing because of mindfulness. You're putting your mind to this. And you want to exercise this thing. And don't let people people move you. Be uneffable with your energy. Be uneffable. Don't get pissed off because of people saying things. Don't get upset with yourself because you didn't stay on track. Get back on track. Practice mindfulness. This is so important. This is going to lead you out of everything that you think that you're in. This is your way out. Your great escape. Thought by thought by thought, you're creating your reality. And it is thought that's going to help you propel in creating that reality. Or it is thought that's going to keep you stuck in that reality and you can't get out. Your blessing is a thought away. Your healing is a thought away. This is why in this text they tell you it ain't really what, put, what man put in their mouth that defiles him. It's what's coming out via his thinking. That, that defiles the man. And I want you to be headstrong in this year. Okay? Be headstrong. Issues in life come from um, the heart and mind. Yeah. Okay? Miss being so, thank you so much. That's my moderator, y'all. Y'all give my moderator a hand. She's my only moderator. I love you, Miss being so. She's my only moderator. And I feel so blessed to have come in contact with her. I never met her in the physical reality before. She is a blood type A. And then blood type A's, we are talking about them today. They are the most kindest genuine humble grateful people that you want to intertwine with now when you piss them off though they'll be ready to get your ass but that's like anybody though but i'm just telling you they're really really genuine people and i've met so many beautiful blood type a's when you learn about the different personalities i mean the different blood types as far as eating you also peep game on different personalities of those people too they're really really good people 
And I want to say thank you while I have you on live. Thank you for all that you do in the comments that I missed and stuff. Thank you. I have to cut out um, caffeine and sugar. That helped. Oh, you have cut it out? That helped your anxiety. Yeah. 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 So the link is in my bio. How do I get the detox? Link in my bio. It's called Sustained Detox. It's black. It looks like this here. It looks like this here bag. I got a limited amount of the detox. This detox has been selling like hotcakes and it works. A lot of people um, have been having a lot of testimony. Oh, and don't forget to leave honest reviews for the detox. It's called Sustained Detox. It detoxes the body at a cellular level, getting rid of old mucus, old um, fecal matter. It cleans the livers, the large and small intestines, the kidneys, pancreas. It works at a cellular level. When I talk about cell, I'm limited to no organ. I'm talking about all the cells of the body it works on. So I'm about to go. I got to ship some orders out. I'm happy that I was able to talk to the A's today. My website address, Salt of the Earth Pub dot org link is in my bio this video was from my heart to yours baby y'all be blessed okay bye